and then Fuga, Fuga Friday. We gotta drink, smoke, food on a Friday. Fuga, Fuga Friday. We gotta drink, smoke, food on a Friday. Fuga, Fuga Friday. We gotta drink, smoke, food on a Friday. Fuga, Fuga Friday. We gotta drink, smoke, food. Sexy little beat, me reading the news, it makes your chode wanna skeet. Watching MMA makes my knees so weak. Points to JBH, mission complete. Fuga, Fuga Friday, we gotta drink smoke food on a Friday. Fuga, Fuga Friday, we gotta drink smoke food on a Friday. Got the point game right, now it's time to spin the Fuga wheel. Fuga, Fuga Friday, we gotta drink smoke food on a Friday. My people, Bellator MMA, two title fights, 297, let's react, let's fook off, happy Friday mofos. How's everybody doing tonight? by Joe Rogan. How's everyone doing? Everybody do tonight! I should open up every show like that, like Joe Rogan with phlegm in the throat. How's everyone doing tonight? Uh, it's good to see everyone here on a Friday. Uh, yes, this is live on YouTube, so make sure you hit the like button and you share the stream. We're going to react to Bellator MMA. It's number 297. They are approaching their 300th event. I'm curious. Are they going to have a big spectacular on 300? We shall see. But uh, tonight, you got Nemkov, you got uh, Yoel Romero, you also got the co-main event of Pettis fighting Pitbull. What? Pitbull dropping down to 135, trying to be, be a Pitbull triple champ, whatever you want to call him. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting tonight's uh, event. So I'm happy it's on a Friday. I'm happy it's not against the UFC. It's good to see everyone in the chat. How's everyone doing? Uh, shout out to our sponsors over here. We love our sponsors. Uh, MyBookie.ag is the place to make bets. So if you're looking to place a bet on some Bellator action, UFC action, or any of the other big sports, go to MyBookie.ag. Use promo code MMAHOLES for a 100% match on your first deposit. That's right. MyBookie.ag is where we'll be placing our bets towards the end of the show for the UFC event. That's right. We're doing our predictions Right after Bellator. So that is wonderful, wonderful. 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 Shout out to CBDX.com. I can't wait to dabble into this again. Jesse's still preg. She's still prego. So I'm not having any marijuana products because I don't want to be able to drive. But um, if you like to get intoxicated, you want to feel wonderful, wonderful, check out CBDX.com. Check out the Delta 9 gummies. Those are my favorites. But all types of stuff over there, vapes, all that fun stuff. If you like to scramble up the brain and have a little fun, it's high-quality product. And uh, it's 20% off with promo code M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S. That's right, CBDX.com. Go to their website, use our promo code, and... Uh, you get the 20% off. You'll also get a free gift on your first order if you use our promo code. Thank you for using our promo code. Appreciate it. And ESPN Plus is how you could watch the fights tomorrow 
on the UFC. So if you want to watch UFC stuff, it's on ESPN+. Plus. How's everyone doing? You may be like, well, Mystical, why you got the Mystical Moss shirt on? Why you got that d rest shirt on? Well, I changed. I changed my shirt. I was wearing another MMA Hole shirt, and uh, I, I was delighted because as soon as I sat down once again, I looked at all my stuff, getting ready to get the stream going, and he... He did it again. He dropped five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. A bomb. A bomb. 500 MMA holes, 500 when you drop on the show, Bow 500 down. bills in the air, 500, 500. shake it dairy air, world domination, here we come, here's 500 reasons why we crush their bones, greatest community in the world, smoke that reverb boys and girls, sucking that green into my lungs, using bidets to clean my bones, hanging with fight buddies throughout the night, watching UFC, enjoying some fights, knock out some bitches, decisions and more, I want to rub MMA into my bones, the whoever crazy, dropped man. the 500 on the show, you're a legend, MMA hole, we're not worthy, we're just not worthy! 500! I mean, it never gets old. It never, ever gets old. Who love ya studios? d rest taking this show and putting it on his shoulders. He's saying, I got you guys. I'm going to carry you guys across the finish line. Renaming the studio with the $500 donation. Live from the Who You Love Stu Who Love You Studios of Arizona. Who Love You Studios of Arizona, baby. Respect to the d -Rest. I mean, what? Dude, literally, my eyeballs feel like they're going to pop out of their head every time. I plug into the, you know, setting up the stream and I'm looking around and I see that that notification there. I'm like, there's this is it's got to be a dream. Thank you D-Rest. Appreciate that. So because of D-Rest did that, he unlocked the ability to get a free product. I mean, what are we going to do? We're not going to have a goal, right? So $5. Oh wait, I didn't even do this yet. Hold on. Let's uh refresh the wheel over here. That's one thing I forgot to do. Uh we're going to clear out the wheel from last week, okay? Here we go. Let's clear it out. I knew I forgot something. Life has been very crazy over here with the waiting for a new child. Uh, here we go. All right, so let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. So we're going to clear out the wheel. If you'd like to get on this thing, courtesy of D-Rest, it's going to get spun. And what we're going to do is we're going to spin it at the end of the show. So uh, $5 to enter. And at the end of our Bellator, we'll, we'll spin this Fukin wheel, okay? That's what we'll do here. Here we go. Paste it up. Ba boom And save. Okay. Thank you so much, D-Rest, man. Like, I, I can't explain how much this helps us. I mean, we are in a crunch for to get this website paid for. And uh, right now, $13,013. Uh, $131. I mean, what? That's crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. So thank you guys for supporting the program. We're going to give you a fiery show tonight because Bellator is actually fairly decent. It's fairly decent tonight. So uh, I'm looking forward to the main and co-main especially. And I got to be honest with you, nothing against Nemkov, but I am dying to see your Romero with that belt around his waist. Probably not going to happen, but please, MMA gods. I don't know. Maybe I'm nuts here, but I want to see Yoel Romero do it. I want to see him Fukin do it tonight. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And Pitbull looking to make history as he's fighting Sergio Pettis. Like that is actually happening for the 135 pound strap. Are they fighting for that belt? I guess, right? I guess. I don't know. We're going to find out. But um, yeah, Bellator is going down and uh, it's a pretty good card. Uh, we need another new rap song from the great. Uh, there's a couple. Buffer's going to scream at you. Um, yeah, just check our donations down below, Rico. Check it out. We got we got a bunch, bunch of <laughs> spitting spitting rhymes. 
Yeah, we're. I'm in the process. Once our second uh, child p bounces out, we're gonna change the "Come on, Rhonda" donation. That donation is gonna be Gonzo, and uh, we're gonna have a new donation for that. But man, guys, seriously, much thanks uh, for all the support. All right, so. This will be where we consume the fights. I am looking forward to the fights tonight. And I see big John McCarthy out there. Big, big, fathead John McCarthy out there. So that's kind of cool. I should be nice. I should be nice. Although he annoys the hell out of me. Um, but uh, Mike Goldberg says he's a very nice guy. Yeah, maybe John is a nice guy. But geez, I don't know. He just annoys me. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, we got an alert. Oh, what do we got here? Casey Jones dropping a five. <laughs> <laughs> Put Ozzy Cat Moss on the wheel. All right. All right. Ozzy Cat has a chance to win a shirt. I think that might be the first time someone actually put <laughs> put something to Ozzy Cat. Okay, here we go. So there we go. Ozzy Cat, who's my mom? Look at that. We're going to put her. She's the pers first person to get it. Casey has been awesome, man. Casey has been super supportive. Thank you, Casey. He's been, like, gifted memberships and sending donations. Super cool. All right. So, KC, let's go, champ. Let's go. Let's go. It's kind of crazy, man. There's so many people in this community, yet a lot of people really stand out. Like, I actually, I don't have the best memory. But for some reason, you guys are making ways in the chat where you really stand out in the community. So, there she is. Ozzy Cat on the wheel has a chance to get the shirt. I bet I bet she would be interested in that dragon shirt. I have a feeling that's the shirt she would want if she had to choose. That's a nice shirt. All right. Thank you so much, Casey. So let's look at this card. I didn't, I didn't even look at it. I just went live. <laughs> it's like, yeah, all right, let's see how this thing goes. Uh, 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 uh. Patricio Pitbull at Bantamweight. That's so wild. Okay, let's go over here. This is our Wacky Wild Fuka Friday show. So I... I wasn't. I was didn't think I was gonna be going live tonight. To be honest, I thought I was gonna be in the hospital, but that hasn't happened. So we're here, baby. We're we're streaming. So let's see. Is Corey Anderson on this card too? What? Stop it. Corey Anderson versus Phil Davis. I didn't even know that was on this. And Daniel James versus Gokhan Sarakam. Oh wow! So it's a four fight card, and they're all pretty interesting. And we're gonna start off with. Uh, James versus Saracom. Starting off with the big boys. All right. If you're new to the MMA holes, we do a thing called Fight Buddies. We react to fights. We also do multiple shows during the week. Uh, you know, Mondays, Wednesdays as well. Uh, Saturday, we're live for all the UFC fights. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. I haven't watched any of the prelims. Prelims any good? Yeah, mom wants the dragon shirt. Okay, we got to fill up this wheel so we can send mom a dragon shirt if it lands on her. Still got four spots available if you'd like to get on the wheel. Uh, Goku versus Vegeta Mas. Uh, I'm assuming that is an anime reference, and I have zero idea what that means. But Goku sounds familiar. Vegetation, I don't know much about. Um, Pettis versus Pitbull is interesting. That is, a, that is a very interesting co-main event at Bantamweight. Pitbull looked very sickly and weird as he hit that weight. Hey, Joseph, how you doing? Couple of good KOs in the prelims. I did see, actually right before we went live, I did see on Twitter, I saw this. I saw Mac Malley on Twitter put this out here. Some guy with the weird swoop hairdo. Boom! You hear the sound of that? Be a first this is what I'm saying, man. If we can get a broadcast without the like commentary, like I think that's Moro Ronaldo. I guess I don't. Let me hear. Side be a first round. Oh! Like I, if I could just hear the crack of the sounds while we call the fights. Be a first round. Like we miss that. It's so cool, man. The sound of knuckles hitting off the face. Oh! And he just dropped. Dude, oh, just yeah. fucked up, man. Fucked up. Can't show too much of that, but yeah, that happened. That happened. Uh, 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 um. You got to have a Showtime account. Yeah, so yeah, we're watching on Showtime. We actually pay. Could you believe this? Like, we actually pay for the Showtime account. Like, we used to do the scam where you just keep on making new emails. Then we got lazy. So we actually pay for Showtime just for Bellator. I never watch Showtime. I don't watch any of the shows. Um, we just pay for Bellator. 
And, um, you know, we, since we, we complain so much about Bellator, you would think that we would like Bellator a lot more. But um, I, ha I think we have a right to complain, right? We pay for it. I just woke up from weed coma. Uh, <laughs> welcome back. Is that is just Showtime account, no extra pay-per-view charge? No, you just need Showtime. So if you have Showtime, you could watch it. Yeah, so that's if you're if you're a fan of Showtime and their shows and their movies or whatever, um, then it's worth it, I guess, right? I don't watch anything on Showtime. Uh, Ray Donovan's over, right? And I, I stopped a couple of seasons early on Ray Donovan. It was a good show, but it got stupid after a while. So I was I, I was like, all right, it started off pretty good. I know they had, they made a movie. Anyway, uh, James is 41, 41 years of age, and his opponent, as they take it off my screen, how dare they? Not wait for me. But let's put the appropriate fight on the screen for you guys so you know what we're reacting to. James, got a big head. Big, babe, look at the size of his mug in that picture. So James versus Sarah Khan. Sarah Khan. I'm going to pull up. Whoa! d rest d rest farting in with a 20, baby! Let's go, d rest Okay, D rest. I see what I see what you're doing there. I see what you're doing there, baby. <laughs> Yo, D rest is a savage man. He's literally Grandpa a... Moss, Seattle Ryan, Ninja Choke, and Theo Gate on the spiny. Okay, so he okay, so I see what he's doing. He's filling the rest of this wheel. Alright, let me fill this wheel up. Thank you so much, D Rest. Let's go, baby. D Rest, thank you. D Rest just filled up the wheels. He's like, you guys don't want to do it. I got you. I got you. Daddy's got you. Alright, so Daddy Rest. That's what we're gonna start calling him. I think that's what the D stands for, right? It stands for Daddy. Daddy Rest dropping the $20 donation, finishing the rest of the wheel. We will spin this right after Bellator. Thank you so much, D Rest. You are you're the best, baby. The best is rest. Not the best is blessed. The ble the best is rest. So, let's see. Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa Moss. Uh, wait, what the hell? We're going to get to the Bell Tour real quickly here. Just give me a sec. <laughs> so, Grandpa has a chance to get the shirt. <laughs> All right. Moss. Grandpa Moss. Who else has he got over here? Uh, he, he put... Seattle Ryan, so I'm just going to put S. Ryan, right? Ryan, because it's not going to fit. Uh, let's see. Who else did he put? He put Ninja Choke. I've seen them. Ninja Choke, he's here. Ninja Choke. And I'm going to add... Whoa, this thing is... They collided right off the bat. Hold on a second here, boys. I, I got you in a sec. Don't worry. t -Rest is completely... Thrown off my game, and I appreciate it. And Theo Gate. Theo, you in the chat? Theo's in the chat. Okay, Theo Gate. Theo Gate. So you guys, everyone that I just mentioned has a chance to get something from the MMAholes.com. We're going to spin the fucking wheel after Bellator, and uh, it's all courtesy of D-Rest. D-Rest being incredibly generous tonight. So the best is rest, baby. The best is rest. Okay, here we go. That is set. You're the man, D-Rest. You're the fucking man. So we got Sarah Cam versus James. James is ranked number four. Sarah Cam is number 10. So a big gap in the rankings between the two. And they're up against the fence. And James has control right now. I'm going to put the time on the clock so you guys know where we're at. We got 200 people hanging with the boys. Hanging with the boys. Welcome to the MMA Holes Live. All right, we're going to sync it up at 3.30. Still working against the ca uh, cage is James. Big, big dude, man. K he is a big boy. They're stuck against the cage here. Saracom cannot remove himself, and James is putting some knees into the thigh. I was looking to see the age difference. It was 41 was James, and Saracom, I think it was like 31, but let me just double check here. Saracom is... Uh, uh, uh. Well, they have fights after this, too. Gokhan. So, uh, Gokhan's coming off a loss. He's 32. 32 versus 41. Still against the cage is are the fighters. And now, Gokhan with control against the fence. 
Sarah Khan now has the underhook on James. James stuck against the cage. They're battling for position with 250 on the clock. Okay, who are we picking in this fight? Let's go. Let's see good KO right here. You would think with the size of these guys, they're just fighting against the fence and just kind of battling for control. If you haven't hit the like button, please do so. I appreciate that. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you show up over here, popping up behind my big head. Yo, the Cuban Missile is indeed fighting tonight. He is. Anyone think Cube is going to get the job done in the main event? Anyone's, anyone think it's going to get done? I mean, that's a big opponent, Nemkov is. I would have to say Nemkov's going to win, but I'd be lying if I if I said I wasn't rooting for Yo Romero. Nice knee to the body by Sarakon, but James just grabs him and pushes him against the fence. So now James got control. They're, just, they're dancing with the stars against the cage here. Sarakon Romero parlay. Bro, listen. I hope you win, Joseph. I hope you win. Although I have to be honest with you, um, you have a better shot at Saracom, in my humble opinion. He's a plus five fifty, y'all. Yeah, I don't see how Yol wins this fight. I feel like Yol's gonna get fucked up in this fight. I really do think so. But I hope Gay Jesus wins. We're down to the ground now as Saracom is inside the guard of James. I never want to be so wrong about a fight that Yol and Romero losing. I mean, I I want to see him win. Like, I am rooting for that very much so. I was bummed when he left the UFC, and I understand why they let him go. You know? But, um, hope he wins. Gay Jesus win. I bet $5 in UL plus 550. I mean, yeah, you know, if you just drop in a $5 bet, I don't blame you. It's a little fun, right? Just having a little fun with it. You're not really expecting to hit, but it would be nice if you did, right? So we got one minute on the clock, and Saracom's definitely going to get round one here just with that takedown late. Um, you know, not much crazy action. Sarakam is inside the guard. He works on the body with a couple of right hands. And uh, he'll probably collect this 10-9 score from the judges. I see you, son. Boy. I, that was terrible. Uh, <laughs> I am so... My my mystical sense of humor and my, my impersonations are going to be rough. My impressions and everything's going to be screwed up because all I can think about is this baby that's stuck inside my wife. That won't come out. Like it's been a little, it's been a little wild over here. So if I seem a little off, I'm just gonna blame it on the uh, the child that that stubbornly is staying inside her body. Thirteen seconds left on the clock, and Saracom is over the right leg of James, and James is having a lot of trouble here. But luckily, the time's about to expire. His left hands are coming in. Herzog watching with his lobster on da da si. And the round's over. All right, so Saracom got round one. That was a real nail biter. One in the books. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, Corey Anderson is fighting. The Nips. Phil Davis. That's a really good fight. I would like to remind everyone that giant horse cock weighs over 11 pounds. Very nice. I'm here via old fashioned copper phone lines. Found my what? Found myself in a DSL rabbit hole. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> I hope you all win tonight. Me too, Smash. I'm with you. Spence versus Crawford. When is that? The 29th. I should care, right? I don't. I don't. Does anyone chat? I know. I know. That's like a boxing ca uh, casual thing to say. I just don't care. I don't care. I should. Uh, did you guys see Connor's video with the, the lady dragging her into the bathroom? I did not clickbait with any of that stuff, but the video has... Went live and uh, maybe who knows maybe later on we'll just ones in the chat if you want to chat about that. But I feel like it's it's oversaturated all over the place. I do have a lot of thoughts on the situation. Uh, but uh, my goodness, it's like, dude, what are you doing? Isn't Logan due July fifth? That's when he's due. That's a due date, but that doesn't like that doesn't guarantee squat. He is he is ready. He's ready to roll. Nice outside leg kick. Saracom shoots in for the takedown. Dublin and gets it. Oh, my God. Quick second round. 440 on the clock. Saracom in the guard of James. James trying to move his body to the fence. Actually, Saracom half guard on top of James. And, yeah, James is going to get he's going to get mauled here. Man, Saracom is only 8-2-0. and He's coming off a loss. Mr. Turkey lost three months ago to Popov. But, man, oh, man, James is getting messed up. James, who has been smoking fools lately. 
Just having a big problem here. Yeah, I remember his last fight against Golm. That was what? That was one month ago. He's, he he destroyed him. Connor, oh yeah, Connor definitely. Listen, I don't think there's going to be a massive lawsuit, but there are a lot of other ways that Connor is just burying himself, like absolutely burying himself. And um you know, it just it goes with what I was saying at the um for his documentary on Netflix. It's the main reason why I thought the documentary was terrible, absolutely terrible. All this stuff that's coming out on Connor is coming out way too early. His documentary has to happen when he's in his like 70s, 60s or 70s, when he gets all this nonsense out of his system, and then we get the real story, like everything. We this these documentaries mean nothing. They're trying to paint a picture that he's a good father. He's not. He's not a good dad. Like I think I, I think that I think when he's with his family, he's good. But you you still got to be good at when you're not with your family too, right? Call me crazy. But who knows what their arrangement is? Who knows? Three minutes on the clock, and still inside the guard is Sarah Com. It's going to stay here unless, I mean, I don't know. There's a miracle for James. Dancing with the Stars, the last girl that accused McGregor had her car set on fire. It's true, right? She was tossed off a boat or something like that. Um... Dude, that video, like, I would love, maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe we'll do a separate stream where I'll just fucking sit there and dissect this video. There's so much to talk about in that that crazy video that was released. There's so many things, like, that just, like, are like, what is going on? Uh, the video disproved uh, the first part of her story. Yeah, listen, she's not going to win in court. There's no way. She's not going to get a, a penny in court. Nothing's going to fucking happen. She literally was, and by the way, I didn't know that Connor was harpooning whales at clubs. Like, I didn't know that was going down. <laughs> All these girls out there, you're harpooning, like, I don't know. I guess people like, a you know, a variety. They like to switch up their diet. I don't know. But my goodness. He's like, ahoy, matey! <laughs> Just rains her into the fucking, like, what the hell? But she was willing, baby. She was willing. She was willing. She just trotted herself right into that bathroom. What do you think was going to happen in there? Man, Sarah Khan still sitting on the half guard from the top, smacking a couple of right hands to the side of the head of James, and James is just having a nightmare of a round here. He just can't get up. He's got Sarah Khan draped all over him, big turkey on him. Connor can just pay her off and have it dropped. It, 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 there's nothing that will hold up in court. Like, what is she going to say? I mean, unless... There are some, like, like if she's got injuries on her or something like that, and there's DNA and this and that, you know, then she's got something. But I don't think that's the case. Like, things are constantly being released. There's text messages. This girl sounds like a complete goofball. Like, complete goofball. Like, I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking, man. This fight's terrible. That's why I'm talking about Connor. The double champ does whatever the F he wants. Yeah. It's crazy, man. So, my prediction of him coming back... Listen, this dude's not going... He's not going into the side of testing pool. It's over. Like, it's fucking over, man. 2023, it's it's a wrap. He's not fighting Chandler. Chandler should just look elsewhere. What do you do? Sit around for this red panty night? That might never happen. You know, like, I think we should... I think it's time to move on. I love Connor. Big Connor fan. It's time to fucking move on. Because it's like... Let him do whatever the hell he wants. Man, oh man. 25 seconds left. And James is still stuck on the mat. The control time just adding up. As Sarah Khan just sitting on top of him, grinding that fist into all different parts of the body and the face. A right hand landing to the ribs. Sarah Khan's going to be up two zip. This one here, I mean, this should be a 10 8. I mean, honestly, James, nothing. Just nullified in this round. Absolutely nothing from beginning to end. Oh, Sarah Khan helping James up. Like, that's going to be so. Annoying, right? Like, you, this guy's been on you for five straight minutes, beating you up. And he's like, Yeah, let me help you up. <laughs> what in seven in the last five years? You finally changed your mind. Yeah, you know what it is? It's like, I am like, I'm a fan of Connor the fighter, and I'm a fan of Connor the promoter, but I'm not a fan of like, I don't know, like this, his, I don't give a shit about his personal life. I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't care about any fighter's personal life. Their life is their business. And and that the UFC is like forcing this down our throat 
It's like, come on, man. If you if there was a fight at the end of everything that the UFC is forcing down our throat, I'd say, okay, at least this, we get to look forward to this fight. I can I can do this. But if there's no fight, like I don't care. I don't care about any of it. You know, it's it's silly. It's 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 just silliness because I like arguing with fans, debating if Conor's gonna win or lose. I like that stuff. You know, I don't like I don't give a shit about anyone's personal life. I don't care. You know, we report a lot of stories here because that's what people want to talk about. But me personally, I couldn't give two fucks about what anyone does in their personal life. All I care about is what's under my roof. You know? Everything else, I want to see fights. Uh, Connor, the promoter, is the best. Uh, the rest, Matt. Yeah, it's just like, you know, Connor did amazing things. He did, And he could have came back and, and done some more amazing things, you know? But it's just like, dude, like, you're out fucking partying, like, cheat on your fiance. And, and, you know, it's just like, and then, like, the next day you go on fucking morning a talk show and you're, you're celebrating your your fourth child being announced it's like what your your fiance's pregnant at home and you're dragging fucking porpoises into the bathroom and fake raping them or whatever oh left hand by Saracon grazes on James then uh, he trips down and they give him a little glove touch Saracon's just cruising man what was the odds on this fight our Saracon's the favorite listen James got he's got power so let's see what happens here James takes Saracon just pushes him against the fence so we're in the third round, final round here with four minutes on the clock. James needs a finish. But this is a terrible heavyweight fight. Uh, Connor is a terrible piece of shit. How can anyone be a fan? I got to be honest with you. Are you a fan of Mike Tyson? Uh, like, I got to be honest, like, like for, for real, I am a fan of athletes. And what they do and compete. But let's be honest. Mike Tyson was a big piece of shit. You know, Floyd Mayweather. There are Floyd Mayweather fans. He's a fucking piece of shit. A lot of these guys are pieces of shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to be here and I'm not going to judge them for the type of person. I could still be a fan of it. John Jones is a piece of shit. You know? Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't matter. That doesn't do anything. I'm not a kid idolizing them to the point where it's just like, I want to be like them so much in my personal life and in my sporting life. We watch people in their underwear beat each other up in a cage. I honestly don't give a fuck what they do outside. You know, unless, I mean, if they are raping women, then yeah, then I would care. But I mean, you know, a lot of them are piece of shits. I don't want to support a piece of uh, shit. There's a lot of other athletes. Yeah, you can, and that too. But I got to be honest with you. If you're like trying to witch hunt Conor McGregor, and you're celebrating Mike Tyson, I think you need your fucking head examined because that guy was a fucking animal. And now he's the best. Now Mike Tyson's awesome, you know? But he's a different guy. He's old. He matured. You know, but back in the day, Mike Tyson was like fucking loony. They have separated from the fence. We've got 223 left on the clock. Shooting in for a takedown is Saracom. And uh, James catches his neck, trying to go for a guillotine here. But he's just using it for leverage and spitting Sarah Khan around to the fence. They're both twirling around. And I also I also agree that like you know, another thing I say too is like there are a lot of shady people out there. Like this girl going to the bathroom with him, too. You know, listen, Connor's not right in any way. But at the same time, what is this? What did this girl go to the bed? Like what what happened? Like why are they all going to the bathroom together? <laughs> what did she think was gonna happen? Like. They were going to fucking share stories. They're going to share pictures of each other's kids. Like, what? they're going to take shits together. Like, what's, what, what did she think? Like, it doesn't make any sense. None of it makes sense. The bouncers are there escorting. Like, this was a consensual situation. You know? It was a consensual boy, girl, boys cheating on his fiance, or who knows what his situation is. You know what could save Connor? If D comes out and says, we have an open relationship, you, you fucking assholes. Like if D just said that, it would it would nullify a lot of nonsense that's going on. No one would give a fuck anymore. Like if sh it was like a Sean O'Malley situation, but I have a feeling, I don't. Who knows? I don't know what their situation is. One minute on the clock, and James and Sarah Khan are battling for position against the fence some more. It's weird though, man. Inside job. She she <laughs> graped. Crazy stuff, so the video. Yeah, the video is wild, man. I'll tell you right now, I don't think he deserves the... But here's the problem. We don't know what their relationship is. We have no idea. They might be... 
They're not married. They're they're just engaged, right? So there might Connor might have said to D, said to D, listen, I'm still gonna go around and get my dick wet. Because think about this, Connor is doing this, and oh shit, James just gets flung to the ground. But that's it; it's gonna be over. Sarcom's gonna win. Uh, Connor Connor did this in public, guys. How do you feel bad for D? Connor did this in public. Like he's doing this in front of people with their cell phones up recording this. This is not a secret. He escorted a girl into the bathroom with him. Think about this. So we don't know like what's going on with him and D. We have no idea. If this was like him cheating, he would be doing this more discreetly. But then people could be like, oh, he's on Coke. He's on listen, guys, he's doing this in public. He's doing it in public. So one. The girl's not going to win unless there are like physical damage on her that she was actually raped by the guy, right? Um, and two, if he's doing this openly in front of everyone with cell phones, I mean, there was a mob of people around them. Then what is he doing wrong? Think about that. He's doing nothing wrong. He's absolutely doing nothing wrong. Here's my problem, though. My problem is I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I just want to see him fight. I don't need this. I don't need all this uh, smoke and mirror. Like, I don't need all, like this fun him partying and shit. I don't care about any of that stuff. Men's rooms for men. Have you been to a club? I've been to many clubs with co-ed bathrooms. And he was in a handicapped bathroom there. So maybe she was handy. She looked like she could have been handicapped. She was a big girl. I don't know. She could have been handicapped. <laughs> that was another peculiar thing. But, you know, hey, everyone's got their taste. Bellator fights are all boring. Well, yeah, that one sucked. We talked about Connor the whole time. But, yeah, there's not really much that happened there. He's never fighting again? I agree. Like, like we're at the stage right now where it's just so stupid. Like, the whole thing is dumb. Like, everything is... It's just getting out of control, you know? Like, you can sell me the other stuff if Connor's fighting. You can't sell me that stuff if he's not fighting. I don't care. That fight was ass. I agree. I agree. So Saracom wins. That's the problem with heavyweight fights. If they go, you know, a couple of rounds, sometimes it just falls apart there. But Saracom won like every round. <laughs> I'm going to replace Fred, Fred Durst. Just throw Conor McGregor in jail for fun in Dagestan. I mean, I got to be honest with you. Like, if you really break it down, what the fuck did he do wrong? Nothing, right? He did nothing wrong. Like, if you're just talking about the actual situation, you know, I don't know what he did wrong. I honestly don't. I have no idea. If she comes out and says, I don't care if he fucks other girls, I'm fucking the pool boy. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's got a bunch of kids and her Instagram isn't like his. Yeah, I don't know what. She's very quiet about this. I don't know what the fuck their agreement is, but it would it would help Connor a lot. It would shut a lot of people up. Deep came up and was like, yo, he's doing his thing. Like, that's the relationship we have. I, I don't know. Some people are fucking crazy like that. I don't agree with that shit, you know? You know? And I fucked around. I, listen, I did some fucked up shit, you know? But um, now we, we live in a world with open relationships, and who knows? Who knows what's going on? There's a reason why they're not married. There's a reason. <laughs> There's a reason why they are not married. So many people out there think Conor McGregor's married. A lot of people. Or thinking Connor's married. He's not. But yeah, he does have a fourth kid on the way. And it's weird. He goes on a morning show, talks about the fourth kid. Meanwhile, he's escorting or escorting whales into the bathroom. Uh let's see. <laughs> Charity job for the Yeah, it's so funny. Like he brings, you know, a thick girl into the bathroom and it's a handicapped bathroom. <laughs> Maybe she, maybe he thought, <laughs> maybe he thought she was handicapped. <laughs> kind of like, come here, big girl. I gotta cut the line. Cut the line. The, the girl just wanted to go to the, she, she just needed to take a shit. She needed to take me shit. You know, I picked her up from the wheelchair and it was weird. The whole thing is weird. The bouncers are hanging out. They're going in with them. It's like, what is going on? 
<laughs> I think it's funny. He went all full bad Santa and fucked the fat girl and stuff. Yeah, it's wild, man. It's a weird, like, dude, it's like bizarre. Like, oh, I watched that video. I'm like, what am I looking at here? This is the weirdest shit ever. Why is he grabbing this girl's hand and going into a handicapped bathroom? She's consenting to this. She's claiming he raped her. I was like, wait, 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 what? How many fights till Phil Davis? It's next fight. Next fight coming up. Now, let me just say this, guys. There's a very good chance this fight's going to be terrible. You know why? Because Phil Davis is involved. <laughs> Phil's involved. <laughs> you hear that jam? <laughs> Put Kainoto on the wheel because I don't want him to go to the, the Salvation Army. <laughs> we got a full wheel here. Thank you, D-Rest. Appreciate that. We have a full wheel. Uh, if you want to take someone off, take someone off. You put him there. <laughs> if you want to take someone off the wheel, let me know. You want to take my grandfather off the wheel? I mean, uh, Grandpa Moss off the wheel? Let me know. I'll take someone off. It's your five. It's just so silly. Like, the whole thing is so silly. I I'm over it. Like, I'm over. I'm just, like, I'm so disappointed because I did want to see Connor, Chan Connor and Chandler. Um, in MGM, I wanted to see the year end, end with it. Even if he took a loss, I don't give a fuck. Like, I just want to see it. You know, I want to see him come back. But my goodness, man. It's like, it's like enough's enough. You going to throw a bet on Phil? I So this fight here, warning, 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 warning. This could be a terrible fight. This 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 could be a an absolute, I've seen... In fact, fun fact, I watched uh, Phil Davis compete with Luke Thomas. I was with Luke Thomas, and we were watching a Phil Davis fight that was terrible. Like, like there's so many. I've been in the building for a terrible Phil. Phil's a very good athlete, super good. Sometimes he's too good, you know, where it's just like there's a stalemate, and the fights go three rounds, and they're horrible. Very good chance we might see this. I hope Corey Anderson uh, drills a fucking hole in Phil's head. I'm glad uh, he's on steroids. Otherwise, he would uh, hurt his back lifting the whale. <laughs> Connor, you know, that's the story, guys. He's harpooning whales and bringing them into the handicap bathroom. That's the fucking story. You know, that's what we should be talking about. We're wasting our time talking about Connor Chandler. That's never going to happen. Connor, you saw the testing pool. That's never happening. What's going on with his, his bathroom fiasco? Uh, give me money via grapple fuck. Yeah. Well, they both can grapple. It's it's a fascinating matchup, but I have a terrible feeling that this fight's going to be horrible. You ain't going to shit right for a month. I I mean, we'll show the video later. We'll show it later. He got his heavyweight belt. All the belts. All the belts. He's going for all the belts, McGregor. Right, Connor? Ole, ole, ole. Hey, hey. Give me that whale over there! Give me that whale! I'm in the mood for whale! I'm in the mood for whale, yeah! Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> it's a good night! I got the cocaine in me system! Let's harpoon some whales in the handicapped bathroom! <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Wait till we actually react to this video. If the condom doesn't fit, you must acquit, <laughs> and there's not a single condom small enough to fit Connor's <laughs> tiny limp biscuit. Connor digging up Johnny Cochran right now for his defense team. <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that. I, I wonder, do you think when Connor's running around banging whatever the fuck he's banging, do you think he uses protection? Let me know, yes or no in the chat. Does Connor, uh, he probably doesn't. He's all coked up, he's drunk. There's no way, right? There's no way he uses protection. He goes in raw dog. Which is even more concerning for D, right? Who's about to spit out their fourth kid. But who knows? No, no, yes. I'm going to say no. But you know what? He's probably done it so many times. He probably has, like, all types of condoms. Lil Seal says I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, of course not. Every condom slips off. <laughs> Why are you fascinated with the size of his cock? That is weird. And thank you. Coke dick and condoms. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, what happens with cocaine? Can you get an erection if you're too coked up? What kind of, like, what's the what's the side effect? I don't know how that works. 
I feel like we have to re we have to we have no choice. It's our duty to react to this video. We'll see what happens. I still got to do my UFC predictions, but maybe after Bellator we'll spin the wheel. We'll definitely do that, but maybe we'll, you guys want to watch the video together? I mean, D-Rest dropped a $500 donation for God's sakes. I don't think he does. I'm going to say no, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've got a smartphone <laughs> and I need a time machine. Oh, no. Here he is. <laughs> yeah. The Mike Tyson. Me, you're not man enough. Mike. I eat your asshole alive, Easy. Bitch. Fuck you, you hoe. Come and take my face. Fuck you, Easy. Bitch, everybody. Mike. You bitch. Come on, you bitch. Calm you down. Coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Easy. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me. There he is, eh? <laughs> Mose, what the fuck you say about my beloved Mike Tyson? <laughs> the man is a saint, isn't he? And not mentally ill at all. Honestly though, there are fighters that I don't respect as humans and I just don't buy the PPV. Yeah. Root against them and relish when they are KO'd. That's what's great. Like, that's that's what I like, right? When there are fighters out there that people loathe, you know, it's fun. You got two sides. You got people that love the bad guy. You got people that hate the bad guy. You know, it makes it interesting. Conor McGregor right now where we stand is never going to compete again. Like I said, like I don't see it anywhere in our near future, right? So it's like for us to debate whether he's a good guy or a bad guy, it's like who gives a fuck? You know, like it, it sucks because we're never going to see that fight where he may get his ass whooped again, you know? Ninja Choke, thank you for the 1995. Appreciate it. We got a whole buffet of donations in the description down below. Streamlabs is how you can do it. By the way, is Nightbot in the chat? Nightbot has been MIA, man. What, the, what happened to Nightbot? Yeah, he's not there. Anyway, if you want to see where our donations are, it's in the description. We got a whole jukebox over, of donations if you'd like to support the show. I appreciate that. And we got Super Chat trying to pay off this website. Thank you very, very much. Round one has begun. Let's pivot to Davis versus uh, Corey Anderson. We got one more donation here. Let me play this real quick. This is from Koi Nutu. Wonderful, wonderful. Connor. Oh, yes. M M, stay tuned for me new product rolling out. Proper twelve millimeter condoms. <laughs> if they're good for me, tiny limp biscuit, they are good for y'all. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Kainoto. Appreciate that two dollar donation. I saw he follows up, kind of probably raped and killed my pop. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. If you have anything else you'd like to say about Connor, feel free to drop it. Donation, chat, wherever you'd like it. Here we go. Corey going for the takedown right away. Now, like we said, Corey's got grappling as well. Corey Nips, number two, uh, number one ranked, and Davis, number two. Big, important fight here for the light heavyweights. And Corey, oh my God. Yo, ever since Corey's been to Bellator, oh, he slams down Davis, but Davis gets back up. As I say, ever since Corey came to Bellator, the dude's been lights out, but Phil Davis is a fucking G2. And now Phil gets the backside of Corey as Corey stands up. Corey's fighting hands. This is going to get interesting. Both guys got grappling. So Davis, man, listen, let these guys do the roids and let's let them fly, baby. Phil trying to drag Corey down now. So Corey getting a taste of his own medicine. They're, they're both going after the grappling here. Phil Davis trying to lock up the backside of Anderson, trying to put him on his knee, but Anderson keeps dropping and getting back down up. Corey, instead of fighting the hands, is trying to underhook and, and break the grasp of Phil. Phil's arms are going to get burnt out by trying to do this the entire round. He's got like the seatbelt lock around the waist. He's trying to drag Corey around. Now Corey's trying to peel the hands apart of Davis. 3.07 on the clock. First round of action. This is a fast... I didn't even know this fight was on the card. I knew about the co-main and main. I had no idea these two would match up. Now, like I said before, Phil Davis has been a guy I, I'm, I respect, but I am not a Phil Davis fan just because of how boring he is. He nullifies his opponent and gets these decisions, and it's like, yeah, whatever. But Corey gets an underhook on Davis and spins around. Separation between the guys. Yep, there's a – it might come down to the striking. Whoa, left hand by Corey coming in, and Phil slipped, gets back up quickly. Man, look at all those fights here. 24-6-0 for Davis. Been around forever. 
Anderson throwing that jab, comes to the body with the right. Corey Anderson, good head movement. Davis misses with the left. We got all twos on the clock with one round where they're at. Yeah, Corey's beaten some of the best, best of the best. And Phil Davis, a former champion. Man, Phil coming in with the left, the right hand. Corey has some more good head movement. Corey comes to the body with the right, moves in. Davis with the left. Corey putting the pressure on Davis, man. He is staying on him. Now has him against the fence. So now Corey would control against the cage. Man, not afraid to gra grapple with Phil, but Phil nonchalantly just throws the hooks underneath and looks to spin Corey off the fence. And does. That is incredible patience and strength by Davis, man. He's just like just smooth and calm. Puts the underhook in. They're battling for position here. And Corey was going for a single leg. Phil says, let's try to go for the neck here to stop him. Phil going for the neck, and Corey realizes it quickly. Now Corey's trying to pull his head out and says, okay, I'm going to bail. Corey stays on him, though. Stays on him as Phil keeps his hands out there to try to keep Corey away. There's a little bit of separation. And Davis cracks with the right. Slickly putting that right hand into to Corey Anderson. Corey with a leg kick. Corey with a body shot. And Corey goes for two. These guys are being exhausted. The way, the way they're going in this first round. Corey goes for two legs. He scoops them up. And they both call, they both fall to the ground. Davis is a little bit better. I mean, uh, Corey with a little bit of a better position. But Davis is trying to make it very tricky. He's looped around the back. In fact, this takedown did not work out for Corey. Because now Davis is wrapped around the waist. And Corey gets back up. Davis got an answer for everything here. Uh, grappler's Delight. This is on Showtime. Yes, if you're looking for the fights, they are on Showtime. We're doing some live commentary. 30 seconds left in the first round of action between Corey Nips and Phil Davis. Not surprised. Not surprised that we see a grappling exchange from both of them. And Phil having answers for everything Corey is throwing his way. Now Phil trying to drag Corey to the ground. And Corey's fighting the hands. Corey slips out for the time being. Now around the body of Davis. And now Corey trying to drag Phil down, puts him on a knee, and Phil tries to get back up. He does. Two seconds left. Okay. It's, it was a lot of stalemates. I would have to give a slight edge to Corey, I would say. But let me know in the chat who you got, those that are watching along with us. I would say a little bit of an event. I don't know. Slight edge for Corey. Slight, slight, slight. But uh, very impressive, you know, with Phil counterbalancing. A half gram of shrooms. All right, let's go. <laughs> now going hogging. Let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. That's what he said to the girl going into the bathroom, right? Uh, let's see. Moon Rocks just raped the weed you paid top dollar for. My weed isn't uh, tumbled. Has all the moon dust on it. Enjoy. Phil landed a pretty sweet one-handed hammer, hammer lock. Uh, if I remember correctly, in the uh, UFC, he called it the Wonder Bar. Sick. Yeah, listen, Swill's, uh, Phil, Swill. <laughs> Phil is very good. He's a very talented athlete, and he could win in every aspect of the game. My problem is, you know, sometimes, like, there's too much nullification where, you know, it just turns out to be a very boring fight. So we're in the second round here. I feel like this is destined for a decision, but we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, so John McCarthy agrees. He gave Anderson a 10-9. These are unofficial. John and me, unofficial scores. Not mad at this fight. It's a, a coin toss. Yeah, I mean, if you think of the matchup, it's a pr pretty good one, but I still would uh, be heavily uh, in favor of Anderson. Corey is, um, he's been very impressive in Beltar. I know he, he just lost his last fight, but still. That is Nemkov. Yeah, he's got pink shorts, yeah. Uh, DK has it uh, leaning towards Anderson, so obviously uh, Davis will win. <laughs> well, I, you know, I would have to agree, though. Oh, but th then again, you never know what the judges, but I don't know how you can really go for Davis in the first, even though he had answers for everything. I don't think he was too offensive. All right, here we go. Davis is landing here. Nice shots to the face of Corey coming in with the rights and lefts. 350 on the clock. Davis looking good on the feet here. As Corey's trying to rely on his head movement. Wonderful, we got wonderful. a Kainoto Deuce coming in. Did you guys read what TMZ just posted? 
According to Connors management, he was cast as Captain Ahab in the upcoming Disney movie rendition of <laughs> Moby Dick. He was just doing research for the new role. He just forgot that Ahab killed the whale, <laughs> not raped it. <laughs> See, I think that's the worst part of this whole thing. It's gonna, the case is going to fall apart. Now, the good thing is they're blurring out this girl's face. So we don't quite know what this girl looks like. But you, the face is the only thing blurred out. So you can tell that the, she's a thick girl, right? Um, and this girl's going to catch heat. She's going to like, she's going to be the butt of the joke, especially if, if the case falls flat and she's just lying about everything. She's going to get, I mean, no one deserves rape. No one deserves any of that. But, um, I have a feeling this was a, this is, this was a very consensual walk to that bathroom, to that handicapped bathroom. Pettis or Pitbull? Uh, I'm going to go Pitbull. I'm going to say Pitbull... Uh, does something special tonight. But Pettis has looked pretty good, right? The champ. Good for him, man. Pettis, you know, finding a home here. Corey dragging down Davis. But it's good. Yeah, I'm curious to see what kind of Pitbull shows up. You know, he's he's always been a small guy. You know, up two divisions. So, who knows? Maybe this guy was meant for 135. Don't be surprised if Sergio catches the Yeah, I mean, listen, I wouldn't be surprised if Sergio wins. He looks he looks very good in Bellator. So we got 204 left. Second round. Corey coming in. On Phil. Phil backs up, uses the reach. Now Phil walking forward. Phil eats the right hand by Anderson. 154 on the clock. And the aggressor is still Corey. Corey comes in over here, hits him with the right hand as Phil is trying to use that ducking and dodging. Now Phil's shooting in on Corey. Corey stops it. And Corey putting pressure on Phil, looking to push Phil to the fence, and he gets him there. 135 on the clock. This, this is exactly what I expected. <laughs> Cards never gets played during a Phil Davis fight, especially. But listen, I, I think we can get some carnage tonight. I hope we don't get Soldier of God, the same one that showed up against Izzy. But you would think your Romero is going to play it a little safe. Is he going to go guns blazing on Nemkov? That seems like a, a big mistake. Corey moving in, man. 107 on the clock. I think Pitbull versus Pettis is going to be fire. That should be fire. This fight sucks? Yeah. Are you surprised, though? Are you surprised? There's a man named Phil Davis in the fight. Corey's got control against the fence here. Phil trying to stop another takedown attempt by Anderson with 50 seconds on the clock. The, the Davis no Corey has carnage he's got, he got carnage uh, Bader it's destroyed him but that was a year or seven months ago you had the Nemkov, Nemkov fight was the clash of the heads but Corey was winning that fight and then they rematched then Corey wound up losing so Nemkov made the appropriate adjustments and gets the rematch fight but if there wasn't a clash of heads in the original Corey would have won that fight he was he was bashing on Nemkov Corey looks great Corey also had the the knockout of uh, Dov Leeds, the the fight before uh, Bader. Yeah, when he came to Bellator, he was killing peeps. Corey hits him with a nice right hand. Seven seconds left in the round. Phil standing his ground. Phil looking exhausted out there, man. So one. All right, Corey should be up two zip. Corey should be up two zip here. I'm not surprised, mofo. Not surprised. Wonderful, wonderful. Hey, Kainoto, making it rain tonight. Give me a break. People are being way too hard on her for willingly walking into the restroom. If you were a white chick in a room filled with a bunch of guys with a combined credit score of 23, <laughs> you would also walk into any room to get away from them. <laughs> uh, did you see the text by this girl? This girl seems like she's a little, she's a little off. And she, she said that she frequents this club a lot. So I have a feeling this is not the first time she made the walk into the bathroom with somebody. Um, I, that might be her move. We like to call them bottle rats. They're they're quite they're a special breed of women that go that frequent, especially the same club, a lot. I'd be lying if I haven't dragged a girl into a certain area or something like that to you know be a naughty man, but willingly, guys, willingly. All right, here we go. Third round of action. Thank you, Kainoto, for the wonderful, wonderful donation. Casey Jones coming in. And Casey Jones 
with the green belt gifting a membership. Let's go, champ. Come on, champ. Let's go, champ. And MMA Reality gets it. Let's go, MMA Reality. Welcome to the champions. Champ, welcome to the champions, champ. How many people in the chat have been to a club and been there? Did the walk through the crowd with the girl? One's in the chat if you've been there, you know, if you've been in those situations. So right now, Corey Anderson should be up 10-9, 1 and 2, getting ready for uh, a third victory here. Or will Phil Davis be able to get a finish? As Phil, is, he's letting the hands go here. Phil has a little bit more of a sense of urgency. Let's see if Corey plays it safe or Corey with the inside leg kick. Phil comes in with a leg kick of his own. Phil comes, uh, backs up as Corey shoots the left in there. King Combo never done that? No, in a club, meet a girl, you know, have a little fun. I go to the club. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Go to the club, get the girl, you know, have a little fun in a secret area. You know, you know what I'm saying. Look at this. Seattle Ryan. Appreciate uh, each and every one of you MMA holes. Thank you, Seattle Ryan. And then D-Rest. Gifting five. Gifting five up in here. I see Ozzy Cat gets it again. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Rest. You guys are making this exciting, baby. Phil Davis needs a finish. Maybe the chat will fire him up here as you guys are lighting up the gifts. Phil Davis, man. He's backing up and Corey staying on the gas. Moving in, body shot, Phil shoots in for the takedown, nothing. Corey stops him, underhook, knee to the body, has Phil to the fence. How old's Phil now? Let's go, wow, Phil is 38 now. Oh, boy. Corey's still only 33. There we go, catching up on alerts here. Thank you so much, guys. And big D rest, double champion on everybody. Double champion. Very nice, man. <laughs> Fuck Bellator. Dude, it's Phil Davis, man. I promise you. Bellator hasn't been great, but Phil Davis in a fight, I, I, I can't remember. I can't remember the last time. I was like, wow, that was Let's exciting. There it is, Ozzy Cat getting it. Phil has control against the fence. Let's see if he gets something done. 2.37 on the clock. Corey spins him around. Yeah. When was the last time Phil Davis was exciting? Them cops saved the world of a bum American wrestling champion. No, man. Listen, Corey Anderson, it's not his fault. It's not his fault here. He's trying to bring the pace. Phil is just nullifying everything, right? Let's They're back to the middle. And Jason Osada gets that membership as well. And we got a reset. I have seen fun Corey Anderson fights. I can probably count on one hand. Out of I have 24, 6 and 0, I probably count on one hand how many exciting Phil Davis fights I've seen. Corey's still only 33. I thought he was older, to be honest. Let's go, champ. So Corey moving in on Phil. Phil looking exhausted, man. That oh, nice body shot by Anderson. Then he resets right back to the middle. So Corey knows he's got this thing on cruise control. He tries a spinning back fist, comes in with the right. And Davis looking slow and tired out there. Phil trying to move in. Davis is on a two-fight win streak, and he is looking to try to keep that winning streak alive, but only has 125 left on the clock in the third round here. Corey tags him with a left, comes back with a right. Oh, nice right hand again by Anderson. Phil ducks away, resets. Phil tries to come in on Corey. Corey stands his ground in the center. Corey comes in with a combo. Phil just looking to step slow. Man, Corey's got this. One minute left. It's over. It's over, baby. Moby Dick found a boat. <laughs> That can f finance her lifestyle, Connor. Uh, what's that extra cushion for the push? And I want to thank you so much for the gift. I will pay you. P it forward ASAP. Let's go, Robin. Enjoy that white belt over there. It was very nice, right? Holes, hope everyone's having an awesome day because it's been shitty one over here. Hey, B-Man, I hope it gets better, okay? Everyone wish B-Man a better day. Well, it's nighttime. Tomorrow's a better day. Tomorrow will be a better day for you, okay? If you got any issues going on in life, let's forget it tonight. Let's have some fun. We'll talk about harpooning whales and bringing them to handicapped bathrooms. And Phil Davis about to take a loss here. With 20 seconds left, Phil's trying to move in. Corey is nullifying him again. And tell me that's an iPod. Oh, okay. Mouthpiece falls out of Anderson's mouth. And they stick it quickly in there. Phil Davis resetting. Corey moving in. We got seven seconds left. Corey Anderson will be the winner.
Brother, I got... I'm going to go with Pitbull. I'm going to go with Pitbull on this one. But I might be a little biased. I uh, just saw the video. Don't believe it. Bunch of BS. Uh... What do you mean? What do you mean's BS? Like the allegations by the girl? Wish you a better tomorrow. There we go. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be tomorrow's gonna be a good one for the B. Tell me your favorite charity, and I'll donate twenty five. Uh, see, you can make the world a better place. Oh my God! B man coming in and coming on Ronda Rousey. Buzz is in the chat. Buzz is in the chat. Sing. Come on, Rhonda. Come on, Rhonda. I'm going to miss this donation. Come on, Rhonda. Come on, Rhonda. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I'm going to miss this donation w so much. W. Thank you. Let's go, Beeman. B's in the chat. B's in the chat. So, yeah, that is going to be the next donation that leaves the show. So, if you want to see it, get it out of your system now. Once the baby comes out, I have a new donation idea that I'm going to slip in. New song. New song. But, yeah, I'm going to miss Rhonda. I'm going to miss coming on Rhonda. Come on, Rhonda. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you get mad pussy tomorrow. <laughs> There's Rhonda. Uh, I tell you what, my mind is starting to shift. I was going to do, like, because Juliana Pena had a come song, right? And you got, like... I'm coming. I'm coming! Right? And you got Pena. You got Juliana Pena. I think I... Uh, I don't have it here. Oh, here we go. I never stop coming. Is my... What is wrong with my stream? Oh, okay, it's all right. Yeah, Juliana Pena says she never stops coming. I never stop coming. Is this a split decision? Split decision? What? Whoa! Corey, all right, Corey Anderson just won a split decision. What? One judge had a Davis? <laughs> what? I had to put the sound on for a second here. I was like, why is this taking so long? Yo! Yo, Phil Davis! So Frankie Edgar was in Corey Anderson's corner? What? Dude, did anyone else? Alright, so John McCarthy is interviewing Corey. What? What? Dude, what? It's in Corey's hometown, too. Dude, what? Was that Sal Diamato? How do you give that to Davis? How does a judge... Like, that... This is not... This was not a close fight. Corey won all three rounds. What? Did, did Sal Diamato fall asleep? Dude, that's craziness. Does Bellator show the scorecards? That like that is really strange. We need five judges for the world. Wow, that that one that one was. Thank God Corey got that win because I I didn't want to have to sit through that fight again and do a whole stream about it. Thank God, thank you God that Corey won that fight. <sighs> anyway, okay, so Corey won. But don't know how. Don't know how that was a split decision. At least we won't see Phil for a while. Yeah, I mean, can we be done with Phil Davis? Can we be done? Can you move him to the prelims or something? I don't fucking know. I know he's ranked very high, but Sal Diamato was on his phone like Stephen A. Smith during the Nuggets. I personally thought Volk beat Islam. You're not the only one. That was a close fight. At least that was a close fight. Corey should get new teeth. No, nah, it's a real man. That's a real man. He's a hunter. He doesn't care. Keep those teeth out. He's like a hockey player, Corey, looking like a hockey guy. All right, so what else are we talking about here? We're two fights in. Belter's only got four on the card. 
So this Bellator card is going to go really quick, but don't worry. We're going to do our UFC predictions as well. Lock bets guarantee. We're going to spin the fucking wheel. And I got to say, I'm having a blast with you guys. We're talking about Connor, Harpoon, and the whale. You know, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to, to really uh, have fun with tonight. So this is a good night to be live. You know, I, I wanted to be wel welcoming my son into the world, but you know what? He did me a favor. I get to see this card, this shitty card. Although, I mean, listen, hopefully the next two pick it back up. Amazing this channel is a family uh, that can make a great time out of not so interesting fights. Love being here. Thank you, Rob. Hey, that's the point, baby. Right? Rob, Rob gets it. Even it, so this is where we're most valuable, right? When the card sucks, when the card's terrible, that's when we we come together and we just have a good time, right? And then when the cards are great, we just enjoy it together, right? That's just it's it's just added bonus, you know, card being great. But if it sucks, at least we got each other to play around with. Because what are we going to do? Watch these fights alone? Be miserable? Sitting through this nonsense? I probably would have turned this off. So, that's facts. That's facts right there. And see, another subscriber over here. They get it. They get how this works. Been doing this for a while, man. August will be seven years on this channel. And yeah, the Come On Ronda... Oh, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, so the Come On Ronda donation. That is going. That's been, that's been one of our oldest donations. So, I was going to do the... Uh, Pena never stopped. I never stopped coming. I Pe never stopped coming. You know, she never stopped coming. And I'm coming. I'm coming. And Yuri Prohaska is coming. A lot of coming there. So I was going to make a com another coming song to replace Come On Ronda. And then I was thinking maybe we should just do Connor, you know, harpooning a whale donation. You know, add the little wheelchair bathroom in there. Like I was thinking of making that song as a donation. So let me know in the chat. Should we do the, the Connor... Harpooning the whale donation, coked up Connor, or the coming donation? Let me know in the chat. Very important. You guys will decide which way we go with our $12 donation. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming! <laughs> Yuri, Yuri gave us a good sound bite right there. Coked up Connor? Let's see. Let's see what, let's see what you guys say. Connor replacing his old dono. Uh, the proper 12 one. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could do that, right? So you want to replace Connor's proper 12, and then we could do, we could replace the coming. Yeah, we could do that. That's true. Mascot punch. Yeah, we would have to add that to the new donation. There's so much to add to the new donation if we do another Connor one. What is that I'm coming sound effect from? That's Yuri Prohaska. I'm coming. I'm coming! <laughs> Yuri's coming. He's still coming, though. He's, he hasn't... He's still, he's still in the process. Oh, you were thinking of the baseball donation? Oh, I can't get rid of that one. Shit. I'm going to have to get rid of the $30 proper donation. I can't get rid of the base, baseball one. The baseball one's too funny, man. That's like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that donation. Connor is hunting a uh, hunter, and, and especially the uh, the proper twelve ones a little more money, and it's gonna be edgy. It's gonna be pretty edgy. So if we make that too little, and it gets played a lot, we might get. I don't know. It might it might not be good for us. Well, that's the point. It's supposed to be painful. Yeah, that's the point. We had the Tyron Woodley painful one, you know. You don't like Connor singing "Take Me Out to the Ball Game," Sinosi? What do you, what kind of what kind of man are you? That's a classic. One, two, three. Take me out to. I mean, come on, that's a great that's a great donation. The pitch, the whole thing. Yuri shooting ropes. <laughs> uh. You, be careful, Sonosa. You're gonna bait someone into donating it. These people. They bask in our misery. What is this fight? Uh, two hours long? Ah, eh, well, it's only four fights, so there's gonna be a lot of fluff. Even though those two fights were decisions, there's gonna be a lot of fluff. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Yuri would have multiple orgasms. Pitbull, yeah, I'm with you. I think Pitbull's going to win too, man. But this is kind of crazy, man. Sergio Pettis, he never really panned out in the UFC, and then he goes to Bellator, wins the belt, and looks great. So now he's got, like, the biggest fight ever, and um, he's looking to stop Pitbull's att uh, attempt to do history. And I, I, I want to see history tonight, man. Nothing against Pettis, but I do want to see Pitbull get it done. That would be fun. You know, he's on ever since that freaking AJ McKee loss, he writes the wrongs with the rematch. He gets the Borix win. He gets the uh, uh, Kleber Koik. I don't even remember that fight. 35 years of age, drops down to bantamweight, and Sergio's just been just rolling. Although what's a little alarming is, you know, this, this could nullify each other and be a decision as well, but I think it's going to be fire. Pettis is 29, Pitbull 35. Both got 5'6 in the height department. Pitbull's finally fighting someone his size. Uh, Pettis got the reach, 69-inch reach. But, um, yeah, this is an interesting one. Pettis is next level right now, but will t will it take more tonight? Tell us a story about your younger, drunken knucklehead days. I got too many, men, And I got to be honest with you, I'm not far removed from it. I have older knucklehead days as well. I didn't, like, when we made the channel is when I stopped everything. You know, I stopped everything. So I, I, there's a, around every corner, there's another silly story. That I, I'm not very proud of, to be honest with you. They're funny in hindsight, but I'm not very proud of. Oops. I jizz on myself. All right, so while we're waiting for this thing to get going here, all right, let's check this thing out. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun here for those who haven't seen this. Uh... We're not that old. Speak for yourself. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. So, I didn't have a proper chance to really react to this, but now that we're between fights, let's have a little fun with it. So, if you didn't know, that's Conor McGregor, right? That's Conor. Conor is... All right, we don't need the sound. But Conor's walking through the crowd. So, there's a lot to look at here. Okay, we'll get rid of this chat. I could do my my breakdown of this. I haven't I'm the real I'm the important breakdown of this thing. I've been here. I've actually been in situations where we've had like we've been lucky enough. My boy had like this hook with stage tables. We've had like times where we were like next to the fucking DJs. Oops, oops, oops. The bouncers are coming up to us saying, Hey, whatever girl you want, we'll bring them up on the stage, bottle rats. We've been there. I've I've been in these moments before. And moments where, you know, like if you had to go to the bathroom, you get your own bathroom. You get your own exclusive bathroom. So, so like, if any of us had to take a leak, we'd hit up the bouncer. He would take the flashlight out. He would navigate us through the, through the crowd, and we would have our exclusive bathroom. Like, it was all VIP shit, right? Just because I had a cool friend. So, so I, I've been in these scenarios. I understand this. Now, I'm not Conor McGregor. I'm not a fucking celebrity. But I've, I've been there, done that, okay? So, Conor walks out here. It looks like he's, I don't know, he's either coming out of the bathroom I don't know what's going on. He's got the security around him. Now, look at all the people just around Connor, okay? Now, I'm assuming that this is the, like, he's got his own bathroom over here, or they might have stopped people go from going into the bathroom and saying, hey, Connor's going to be, you know, <laughs> Connor's going to be harpooning some whales. I don't know. But there's a ton of people out here. And people are, look, everyone's got their, like, drinks, and people got their phones in their hands. Everyone's recording Connor. People are fucking recording. Connor knows that people are recording him. Okay, so Connor walks out. If he does not have a uh, an arranged thing with D, I mean, none of it makes any sense. D knows what's up. People are gonna put this shit on the internet. Connor don't give a fuck. He's looking to harpoon a whale, right? So he's going out. Oh, hoy me matey, and looks around here, and there's the alleged victim over there, the blurred face. Okay, now he grabs her. He says something to her. Okay, and he's like, "Come on, let's go, let's go." Now you know what's going down. That little little swing. Let let's go. He's not dragging her into the bathroom. She's just walking with him. I've seen this before. Now we look at the bro, the bold linebacker shoulders that she's got going on over here. You could break it down. You know, if you really look at it, you can see, you know, she's 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 thick. 
This girl's thick, man. Right? Like you could see, that's a big ass shoulder right there. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot going on over here. So she's she's coming through, and it looks like she has a friend with her. There's another girl that follows as well. There's this girl. I don't know why people aren't talking about the second girl that's walking in. We're gonna get back to Bellator in a second, guys. No fights are on. They go escorted into the bathroom, and they're followed by a fucking ponytail guy. That goes into the bathroom too. Another guy goes into the bathroom. And then that's it, right? A little closer over here. It's a little weird. The security is in the bathroom as well. Connor is being recorded. He knows people are seeing that he is doing this. He knows that people are going to know that he is taking women from a crowd and going to take them into the bathroom. This is not like a secret thing that's going on here. This is out in public. She is willingly walking in. She's not going against her will. They have drinks in their hands. You're like, okay, where, where are we going? This is going to be fun, right? What do you think these girls... And that? And by the way, it's not a handicap. It's like one of... It's a, it's a men's bathroom. It's just a regular men's bathroom that... I mean, I guess you can you can get a wheelchair in there too as well. And then they go. They go in there. And is Connor on... Oh, no. He scratches his ear a little bit over here. You got the bold spot in full effect. Surprised he hasn't got that fixed yet. He's walking in there. Blur goes in. And the other girl, I think the other girl goes in too. Looks like two of them are going in. From what I see here. Oh, wait. Is that a guy? Wait, that's a guy. Wait, is that Dreads? Hold on. Behind the girl. That's another girl right here. Right? Hmm. That looks like, to me, this looks like another female. That fucking blur screws everything up. But there's a guy over here. He's got like a do-rag on or Dreads. All in the corner. He goes in. I don't know where that... The other girl just vanished. So maybe just one went in. I don't know. There was a girl following her. There's a lot of dudes in there. Like, what is going on? Nothing good is going to happen there. Look in the mirror. Let's see. I don't think you really could see anything in that mirror, but let's let's investigate. As We're getting ready for the Pettis Pitbull fight, by the way, guys. Let's examine the mirror. That is, so yeah, this is just like, it's like a black guy going in there with his dreads. Got man bun going in. Like, I mean, yeah, so the, what's, is that a girl? Oh, wait, that is a girl. Is that a girl or a guy? What the fuck is that? What is this? It looks like dreads. Maybe it's a black chick? What the fuck? It's a weird ass shit right there. Anyway, it froze on me. But I don't know, man. They were willingly coming in to the club. That's all the footage. There's really not much to see. The blur kind of screws everything up. But she was willingly going in there. This wasn't against her will or anything like that. She was going in there. The weird part is there's a bunch of fucking security, you know, going into the bathroom as well. So what was he going to do? Bang this girl, like, in front of the whole security team? Was the security going to get involved? Like, like this is a weird-ass weird ass scenario. The, I mean... And, and I, I've seen it before, man. Security at clubs basically says, yo, let me know what bitch you want to fucking hang with. That they literally, and that they're part of the deal, they get greased up, and they don't pull, pull anyone over for you. You know? And they're willing. These girls are willing. They're bottle rats. That's what they are. So he went into the, she went into the bathroom with him. I don't know. Maybe she thought they were just going to fucking bump some rails together. I have no idea. No fucking clue. But, you know, she, she knew what was up. So that's the whole situation over there. Connor cheating on his fiance. Well, it's out in public. This is all. It was a. It was a whole thing where people had cell phones out and everything like that. So D knows what's going on. It's not, not like she doesn't know what's going on. So if that's how they want to live their lives, that's great. I hope that he did not rape this girl. That's a fucking horrible thing to even think about. But if you look at the video over here, there's no evidence that Connor dragged this girl into the bathroom and did things to her. There is evidence that. They uh, mutually agreed to go into this bathroom to do naughty things. Case closed. It's done. It's over. Those chicks 100% went for the blow, stayed for the job. <laughs> I mean, yeah, listen. They're just, you know, that is what it is. You know, there's really not much to really break down there. The only thing you know is that this girl is going in there for a good time. And so is Connor. Uh-oh. Uh oh, so no shopping cart. Coming in! It really fucking hurts so much. 
My muscular ass is sore I let up my manly roar I fell up my shopping cart There she is, Cyborg! And it fucking hurt so much My muscular ass is sore I like to beat up girls With ease With ease Ouch 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 Sanosi Uncle Sanochi when he's back in full force disowns the donos if this gem goes away <laughs> It's my drunk karaoke spirit animal song There you go, let's go Sanosi Hope things are going well Drop Sanosi's in the chat The ultimate the ultimate high score king. Roberto's this year's high score king, but the ultimate high score king is still Sinosi. That's why he has the emojis and his own song. But the Hearns is in play for the belt this year. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sinosi. Hope you're well. And to answer Brennan's question in the chat, they're his fiance. They're engaged. Connor and D are engaged. Which listen, if you're running around, you're still cheating. That is a, that is true. But like I said, I, we don't know. Clearly, they have an open relationship. If he's doing this all in public, you know, there's no secret of what's going on. All right, we're going to move on. I'm not, I'm done with the fucking Connor nonsense. There's nothing really to say here. It's a dumb story. And we got Sergio Pettis against Patricio Pitbull trying to make some history, baby. Trying to make some history. So this is about to go down. And I'm actually looking forward to this fight. It's pretty fire right here. Pitbull looks in, in great shape, man. It's kind of crazy that this is the first time we've seen him at Bantamweight. But so does Pettis, man. Pettis is, he's found his stride here in Bellator. He's the champion. He's another one that's always in great shape. And he's he's become a man in front of our very own eyes. Connor hasn't married D. What's he waiting for? Uh, money uh, for a ring or something? Well, that's the thing. Think about it. Once you get married and, and God forbid D says, well, I've had enough. She instantly gets half of everything, right? So it's a business move. It's a business. It's a business move. Connor gets married. It's all over, man. She gets half the Lambo yacht. Twenty-two and five is Pettis. Thirty-five and five is Patricio Pitbull. Twenty-nine Pettis. Thirty-five Pitbull. Both five six. One thirty-four is the weight coming in under championship weight. Uh, if you're just stopping by for the first time, we go live for the UFC as well. That's going down tomorrow. We'll react to the entire card. We've got the stream scheduled. So after this, go over and hit the like on that. But, wow, Pettis is getting plus money on this fight. Anyone take the plus on Pettis? He's getting plus money. Have you ever heard the saying, uh, where there's smoke, there's fire, though? Uh, yeah, but I i mean, I got to be honest with you. I don't know, like, what is he really doing wrong? Like, I don't know. Like, cheating is wrong, yes, but he's doing this in public. So he clearly, this is not like he's not behind D's back. So I don't, like, I don't know, man. I, I honestly, I don't, I don't know. But it, could he be a bad human being? Could he be going around as a serial rapist? It's possible. I'm not saying it's impossible. You know, he clearly has got fucking demons. But, you know, the, the, the case is going to get thrown out the window. I don't think she really has a leg to stand on. Pitbull just got announced. Now we're waiting oh, on Pettis. Yeah. d -rest. Come on, get loud, MMA holes in the crowd. Come on, get loud, MMA holes in the crowd. MMA holes in the crowd. MMA holes in the crowd. The MMA, MMA holes in the crowd. You'll do nothing, Sanochi. You <laughs> D-Rex talking some smack. How many times have you been accused of rape? Well, here's the thing. I'm not Connor. I'm not a fucking superstar celebrity. So if I'm accused of rape, they're not getting much. You know, they're not getting much. If you're a superstar celebrity, you just got your Netflix uh, documentary uh, dropped. You got fucking uh, like it's just it's. Think about it. He's a superstar. Girls aren't gonna come to me and say, "Oh, this guy raped me." But Conor McGregor, yes, because you're gonna get you're set for life if you win. You accuse me of rape. You're not set for life. Big difference. 
Round one has begun. Listen, guys, I'm not saying he's a perfect human being. He could be a piece of shit. But what I'm saying here is the evidence that we have are accusations. We have no fucking idea what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Ninja Choke. I know that is true. Uh, I'm a celebrity. I'm like felony Charles Bennett, you know? Super celebrity. Just it doesn't have the bank account to, to prove it. Uh, but here we go. Round one has begun. Thank you, DRS, for the donation. Sonosi, everyone that dropped in. You guys have been fucking rock stars. We're sitting here at 13K. We're so close to our website. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We need this tremendously to get this website off the ground. So you have no idea how thankful we are. All right. Pettis is the champ. Looking to defend the belt. And Pitbull coming in with a leg kick outside of the left leg of Sergio. Pitbull looks good, man. He doesn't look depleted or anything. He still holds a decent amount of muscle. Finally fighting someone his size. Coming in with the inside leg kick on Pettis. Although, how big is Michael Chandler? How tall is he? Pettis countering in with the right. Pitbull staying very calm. Comes in with the inside leg kick again on Pettis. So we're in the first round of five. A championship fight. If Pitbull can win, making history. Three division champion. Pitbull lands the left here. Outside leg kick again, Pitbull. Pitbull just taking his time. As Pettis is trying to download the information, he backs up and Pitbull threatens to throw the left out there. Nice, quick left and right by Pettis. Zapping into the face of Pitbull. Patricio Pitbull moving in very slowly with 320. But Pettis is waiting for a mistake. He's got that long reach and he's connected already. He's, Pettis is rocking the green gold trunks. Comes in with a hacky stack kick. That's why I like to call that kick the hacky sack kick or, or behind the leg. I don't know what you could really do with that thing. It just looks cool. I don't think you're going to be able to do anything real damage from that kick. Pettis comes to the body and misses with the left. So 254, a lot of cautiousness here early. Hopefully we get five rounds of this. As Pettis tries to come upstairs with a kick, it hits the outside of the left arm of Pitbull. Pitbull comes in with the right. Pettis throws the left to kind of nullify each other. With 236 on the clock. Nice body shot. Pitbull throwing the foot to the body. Zaps in the right to the face by Pitbull. Pettis left to the body. Pettis trying to rip one to the midsection of Pitbull. Pitbull comes with the inside leg kick. All twos on the clock. First round. Pitbull has a good guard there. Protects himself as Pettis blasts one in. There's a left hand by Pitbull. Comes to the face. Pitbull shoots for the takedown. Gets it. Dumps Pettis on his shoulder. Pettis rolls around from the bottom. We've seen these Pettis boys crafty off the mat. And Pettis, Pettis is trying to get back up as Pitbull takes his back. Wow. Okay. Pettis trying to stay calm here. The champion on a knee. Close to the monster logo. And Pitbull has the backside. Pettis is just staying calm. Just waiting. For an opportunity to blast back up. And Pittis want, Pet, uh, Pitbull wants the neck. These two P names are screwing me up. And Pettis gets back up to the feet. 140 on the clock. Nice job. Nice job by Sergio. Okay, we're back up. Uh, Patricio Shogun Rua. So, yeah. Yay, something's on, baby. We got some fights going on here. Almost uh, 500 in the chat. How you doing, friends? Hit the like button, please. Bash up that. I want you to ground and pound the like button as we're reacting to Bellator MMA. We're in the co-main event here at the meat of the main card. And Pettis tries to go upstairs. We have seen no carnage yet. Late kick by Pitbull. 105 on the clock. Boy, oh boy, guys. Come on, man. Pick this pace up. I understand. It's for the belts. A lot on the line. And, uh, you know, Pitbull's not going to take any crazy chances here. He's looking to make history. A lot of times when you see these guys go down and wait, you know, they make a mistake. They get smoked. Whoa, Pettis tries for a head kick. That gets blocked. He slips to the ground and hops right back up quickly. 40 seconds left. Inside leg kick by Pitbull, but Pettis checks it. A little bit of a stalemate here between the guys. 30 seconds on the clock. Pettis switching on the stances. What would Pettis do at the bantamweight division now in the UFC? What do you think? Sergio gets back into the UFC. Would he, would he make some noise? You're welcome, Dusty, man. We got you covered. 15 seconds left. Showtime trying to kick from off the cage. And Pitbull doesn't fall for it. 
Five seconds on the clock. They're just staring at each other. Faking, 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 faking. Two seconds on the clock. Faking, faking, faking. That's the end of the round. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right. One's in the books. I'm hoping they're just downloading information, man. That's what I'm hoping. I do not need to see another shit fight. You got a grill in your pants? Med Rat Ali. I have been playing, uh, an, uh, paying enough attention. Uh, has he been winning? Who are we talking about? 1 0. So you're going Pitbull first round? I mean, I, that round was really close. I mean, I guess you can give an edge to Pitbull, but scoring's been wobbly tonight. So there's no lock on who got the first round. You see in the chat, Sergio won, Pitbull won. So glad I didn't buy tickets to this. Yeah, Bellator's been a little lackluster, man. On paper, it seems good this card, right? But these guys could nullify each other. We could see five rounds of a lot of cautious activity. Yoel Romero, we've seen him in, in great fights and, and snoozers. Like, if you think of Romero versus Costa, that is one of the best fights I've ever seen. And then fast forward to Izzy versus Romero, one of the worst fights he's ever, ever seen. Think about that. It's nuts. Romero versus Costa is a classic. And then Romero Adesanya is horrible. Like, what? So, you never know. We could have two shit co-main and main event fights. So, we are in the second round of five. Pitbull versus Pettis. Patricio Pitbull. Pettis zaps him with a left trying to counter in, throwing a body shot, missing. And Pitbull showing some speed at the bantamweight level. Pitbull trying to come upstairs with a head kick. Pettis blocks it. Pitbull coming in with the outside leg kick. Trying to mix it up here on Sergio. But Sergio stands right in front of him. Pitbull looking to engage and then backs up. Now he's hopping back and forth. And Sergio's just waiting for him. Pitbull is 35 years of age. Pettis still a young 29. Do you think Edward's scissor finger hands is good? You talking about Leon? Rocky scissor finger hands? <clears throat> yes, I do. But Bilal will redeem himself eventually. Bilal will get his redemption fight. And he'll win out an epic decision. Eventually. Unless Colby Covington takes it. Pettis coming in with the left, the right hand. And body shot by Pettis. 3.35 on the clock. Pettis just taking his time. Trying to defend that belt out there. 3.30 on the clock. Pettis going upstairs for a head kick that's blocked by Pitbull. Pitbull throwing a couple of jabs out there. Does not land. And very slow activity here. As both guys are still very cautious. Oh, for fucking hell, man. Come on, man. Guys, do something. Pettis throws some shots. All miss as Pitbull backs up. Damn, I under I like I, I get it. I get what I get what's going on here. But I am a selfish fan and I want carnage. So let's go, boys. Can we get a fight? Inactivity still going down here. 254. They're staring at each other. Pettis trying for a body shot as the kick comes in. That's grabbed by Pitbull. 244 on the clock. Pettis resets to another side of the cage and backs up as Pitbull tries to cut him off. Nice body shots by Pettis there. Throws up like it hits the forehead of Pitbull. Pitbull throws the leg kick inside the left leg of Pettis. They're back to the middle of the cage. The circular Bellator cage. <laughs> Dude, this is like watching paint dry. Come on, boys. Please. This is where you throw lines. Oh, Pettis coming in with a spinning kick upstairs. And trying to get some showtime activity. Finally, man. Pettis coming in with a fucking street fighter move. But Pitbull is unfazed. That was pretty. Damn, my man came in. Dude, that's, he looked like a spinning top. Dude, if he would have... Oh, my God. If he would have knocked out Pitbull with that. So, there you go. That, now you know why Pitbull's so cautious. Damn, show, <laughs> Showtime's brothers got some moves. Dude, that shit was wild. <laughs> I was about to fall asleep. And Pettis just whips that out of his bag of tricks. But nothing happens from it. It looked cool. And Pitbull hits him with the left and the right. Oh, there we go. Pitbull in the pocket. Tags Pettis. He's got him against the cage, but Pettis, fine. Spins Patricio against the fence. Pitbull clinches up. They separate. Damn, evenly matched fight. 
Very even. Pettis hits him with a left hand using that reach. Jabs it in. 112 on the clock. Then back to the sleeping. 107. Hook coming in by Pitbull. Missing on that. Nice body shot. Hitting like off the hip bone, it looked like. Pettis. Pettis zaps in a combo to follow. Pettis trying to put up the, the points here with 55 seconds left on the clock. And Pitbull steps into a left by Pettis. 50 on the clock. I wish we had live stats for Bellator. Does anyone know if there's a way to get live stats for Bellator? Jose is falling asleep. I don't blame you, man. Push kick by Pettis. And 35 seconds left in the second round. As a left hand by Pettis comes in. And I might give Sergio this round. We'll see. Oh, Pitbull shoots in with 28. Trying to steal around here. Pettis stops him. Nice job by Pettis. Defense separates. 22 seconds on the clock. So we're back in the middle. Pettis and Patricio Pitbull. We're having a good night here. Watching a little Bellator. We'll get into UFC predictions. Doing some play-by-play. -play. We've got the boys in a box. Nice kick by Pettis. That backs up Pitbull. I think Pitbull's hurt. Oh, Pettis comes in with the right. Pitbull, the way he was looking for that fence, backing up. Oh, boy. Oh, Pettis ending strong. All right, we're 1-1. We're 1-1 here. Pitbull had a little bit of a problem at the end of that round as Pettis poured it on. So Pettis got the second. Could be two zip. Could be. Could be two zip, Sergio. Uh, but yeah, a lot of cautious activity for the most part. Getting ready for three. One ones. Two zip. I want to see that shot again. So Pitbull clipped him nicely. But where was that shot? Man, Pitbull got hurt there. Let's see, where is it? There's that spinning kick. Whoa! The foot, the bottom of the foot just grazed off the forehead of Pitbull. That's pretty. Oh, shit. It was a spinning kick. That was the one that backed him up. Oh, shit. That came in quick. Yo, Pettis rocking the spinny shit. Damn, that came in quick. That came in. That I literally blinked and saw Pitbull backing up. Wow. Yo, Pettis. Damn, man. They showed uh, Showtime in the crowd. There's a cut over Pitbull's head, uh, eye. Wow, that came in quick. Damn, that was right off the forehead. Wow. Yo, Pettis got, like, he's got stupid speed. So, Pitbull survives. Does not get dropped. But de definitely got wobbled. And they're taking their time getting this third round going. Here we go. We're good. Woof. Uh, members only prediction. I, you know, maybe next pay-per-view. We'll probably go back to the, the members only for sure. Next pay-per-view. So make sure you guys are members. Yeah, because we're going to go back to members only prediction streams. Big John's got scored similar to me. Which is rare. We're usually off. But he's got 10-9 Pitbull 1, 10-9 Pettis 2. Pettis did have a clear around though in 2. So Pettis coming very speedy with the striking here in the 3rd. Then backing up as Patricio moves in. Patricio trying to make that history. But Pettis is like, no, 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 not on my watch. Patricio comes in, shoots him for the takedown again. Trying to get it. Pettis just stops him. Wow. So Patricio cutting down and wait. It's like the strength doesn't transfer over. Pettis just easily swipes him aside, hits him with the left and right. Beautiful job by Pettis. Pitbull just getting nullified. Damn, huh? That's pretty impressive by Pettis so far. Please fights bottle it uh, when the cards are doing down big. A stomping kick by Pettis coming in on the left leg of uh, Pitbull. And Patricio moving in. Boy, oh boy, guys. Like, you know, there's always that anticipation of there's something that Pettis has got, you know, that that, that he can toss out there and stop this fight in an instance. And, and Pitbull's got that ability as well. So that's there. But it's just like to get there, it's just like, gosh, I just want more activity. A lot of respect. Pettis, did, oh, here we go. Collision as Pitbull lands the right hand. But Pettis just stands right in front of him. Pitbull blitz him with the left and right again. 305. On the clock is Patricio moving in. So Pitbull seems to be fine. If he got a little wobbled in that second. 
Pettis just taking his time. He's just waiting for Pitbull to make a mistake. He's back in circling. Pettis tries to throw a kick up, and that hits the right arm of Pitbull. 2.40 on the clock. My neighbor keeps saying uh, you blow a bunch of air into his butthole. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? Right hand by Pettis, left head kick, and that's blocked by Pitbull. 2.25 on the clock in the third round. Getting ready for Champions of Browns here. If he keeps going in this direction. But here we go. Pettis zaps him in late again. Left and right. Off the face of Pitbull. Pitbull looking a little frustrated. <clears throat> Pettis having moments. Nice left hand by Pettis. Using that reach on the way in. As Pitbull comes in with a leg kick. More jabs by Pettis. Yeah, Pettis got to keep slipping that jab in there. Open up that cut over the left eye a little bit more. Now Pitbull looking a little more fired up. Because Pettis had a very successful combination coming in. So Patricio has a little sense of urgency here as that reach. Yeah, Pettis got to keep that jab going. The reach is getting there. Pettis bouncing back and forth. 20 of 35, 57% for Pettis. Very accurate with his striking. Left and right. Pitbull, 132 on the clock. Pitbull's blood coming out of that left eye. Nice Oh, nice right hand by Pitbull. Pettis walked into one there. Man, Pitbull tying that nice, but Pettis not even phased. So, yeah, who knows? That power cutting down to 135. Not really affecting Pettis at all. The total strikes landing, Pettis 47 to 115, 41%. 33 out of 101, 33% for Pitbull. 104 left. Who wants it more? Stomping on the lead leg is Pettis. This is not fighting, man. I'm sorry. Respect women, <laughs> especially handicap bathrooms. Oh, man, come on, guys. 47. There we go. Pitbull landing, and then Pettis zaps in, whipping strikes to follow. Nice right hand by Pettis there. Okay, we're, we're picking up a little at the end of the round. Body shot by Pettis. Both guys want to end strong. And Pitbull shoots in for the takedown again. He is unsuccessful, but he lifts and dumps Pettis down. There we go. And half guard. The problem is there's only 23 seconds left, but Pitbull does get the takedown. Big takedown for Pitbull. And Pettis is just trying to tie him up from the bottom. Is that enough to win the round? I just don't know if it is. Pettis is trying to get his ass back up. Pitbull is looking to pass over to a mount, but Pettis is doing a really good job fighting with the legs. He goes to the half guard to the other side. Round over. Pitbull's too dehydrated. Oh, boy, man. All right. <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> what do you guys think of this fight, those that are watching along with us? We've got 578. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to the stream. I still think Pettis won that round. PFL actually has a lot of finishes tonight. I'm going to wait for them to get back into their playoffs, and we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll dive back into PFL. I've had a bad experience with them. Uh, boop, 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 boop. The fight is so good. Uh, we're busy making memes. <laughs> yeah, gosh, man. I'm not surprised, though. I, I I was hoping for a good fight here, but it's just like fucking hell, man. They're showing Paxi, Patchy Mix right now. He's barking from the crowd. Wants a shot. To get back in that cage and do his thing. This channel's wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Championship rounds. Pettis has a little dribble of blood from his nose. Pitbull's got the cut over his left eye. And uh, Pettis should be winning this fight. The fans are losing. The one... 35 Bantamweight World Championship. Oh, God. <laughs> Metal World Smallest Guitar. I kind of want to see that. 433 on the clock. Throw in a Discord. Thank God Jesse's not here watching this. She would be raging right now. I kind of, there's a part of me that just wants to just go off. But um, there's always that chance that something crazy can happen. Didn't Pettis have a crazy knockout in his last fight? Yeah. Spinning back fist. He did. Yeah, that was pretty insane. Another boring fight, but hit him with a highlight reel knockout. So you do have that possibility. 
it's always on the table with this this type of fight. So we, we don't want to bail quite yet. But um, we have four minutes on the clock here. They're kind of checking each other out again. <laughs> oh, my God. They're just circling each other. Just slowly. Pettis throws a jab in there. Give me Yo Romero or something. Yeah, Conor McGregor's rape. Way more exciting than this. Hey, Gabe. How you doing? Oh, God. PFL looks so silly. Not going to lie. PFL... Yeah, it's been kind of a dud, but they've had moments where they've been pretty cool. It's just like, ah, oh, come on, guys. Two swings and a miss by both guys. 3.15 on the clock, fourth round. Oh. Yeah, Apache Mix, he's a beast, man. He is a beast. Uh, three minutes. Come on, come on, land a punch or something. Pettis retaliates, shoots with a body shot. Pitbull going for the takedown. Pettis stops it. 250. <laughs> Beat your wife. <laughs> Beat, <laughs> Beat you after a weekend of cocaine. Beat your wife. Oh, gosh. Can we just throw a naked Scott Coker in the cage and have him roll around with his cock flopping around? That would be more exciting than this. A naked One's in the chat if you want to see a naked Scott Coker rolling around the cage instead of this. And just for Gay Pride Month. 219 on the clock. Pitbull and Pettis aren't doing anything. Pitbull shoots him for a takedown. He heard me. Pitbull wraps around the body looking to put a hook in on Pettis. Let's see if he can do anything with this. He locks the... Oh, super chat. You guys want to see that? Scott, naked Scott Coker? Looks like Connor is still playing touch butt. <laughs> yeah. Where's, whatever happened to Portal? What happened to Portal, man? Thank you. Muchos gracias. You'd pay to see that, Gabe? I mean, that's yeah, it's quality content. Naked Scott Coker. Just rolling around. Frolicking in the cage. Pitbull. Pettis, let's go. So Pettis has been really good with the takedown defense, except for the last round, but nothing really happened there. 124 on the clock of the fourth round. They're staring at each other. Literally, he's just staring at each other. Pitbull backs up. Pettis throws the jab out, misses. And Pitbull resetting to the other side of the cage. Pitbull threatening to engage, but Pettis cutting him off nicely. 105 on the clock. This is not fighting. Cut, cut both of these guys. Cut the champ. Sergio sitting at a minus 1,000. I mean, he's he's winning this fight. He is winning this fight. Um, and yeah, credit to Sergio. He's he's in front of a dangerous guy that went down in weight. You know, so I I understand. You know, people shooting in here. With 35, it's like every time Pitbull gets a an opportunity to get a decent takedown, there's, there's 30 seconds left on the clock. Pitbull, ah, they separate. Nice job by Pettis. I see Ali Abdelaziz in the crowd, and it looks like Bilal Muhammad. Oh, there we go. A switch kick. Coming up by Pettis. 15 Oh, front kick by Pettis. That was a nice one right on the face of Pitbull. The Brazilian eats it. And it seems like Pettis would like... 30 seconds left. He finds a way to get something exciting. Pitbull ate a foot at the end of this round. That's in the books. One more round. Thank God. Here we go. Pettis is schooling him, man. Just cruising. He's like, Pitbull, your move, baby. Ooh, that front kick. Okay. Five cool strikes. Uh, uh, uh. Am I saying showtime? I know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Colin, he's he's doing some Showtime shit too. He's doing some Showtime. It's Sergio, guys. Ex excuse me for calling him Showtime. He's the phenom. <laughs> I just don't want to say phenom, you know. Phenom sounds kind of ridiculous. The phenom, but I should. That is his nickname. Thank you for the correction. Yo Romero, fifty-seven years old, looking to get that strap. 
Still jacked. Absolutely jacked. Nemkov looking to beat up an old man. You know, Connor gets criticized for beating up an old man in a bar, and we're about to see Nemkov try to beat up an old man in a cage. Big difference, right? Okay, here we go. Fifth round, my allergies are fucking killing me. It's the cocaine, guys. It weakens my immune system. I can't fight off the allergies. Soldier God is looking beefy, man. He's thick. He looks like the type of... He has the type of physique you would drag into a handicapped bathroom. All right. Uh, so, yeah, John McCarthy's got 39-37 in favor of Showtime. I would concur. I would concur with those scores. Uh, 430 on the clock. And let's see if uh, Showtime, Showtime's dancing out there. He's having fun now because he knows he's, he's owning Pitbull. Very good performance by the underdog, which is interesting. Hey, you guys put money on the underdog, Sergio. I keep on saying Showtime. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I keep doing it. Uh, Sergio. It's uh, He's having a very strong showing here defending his belt at bantamweight. Sergio, Sergio. Squeeze me. Left hand coming in by the phenom of Pettis. Pettis switching on the stances. And Pitbull moving in. Pitbull tries to, he zips in the left and right, and then a flying knee comes in by Pettis. Sergio cruising, man. 345 left. Pitbull's got to move. Patricio trying to move in there. I should start calling him Patricky. Start calling him, calling them by their brother's names. <laughs> you took money from uh, Magomedov. You little lick arse rat. <laughs> you taking shots every time I see Showtime. That is a good game, yeah. You should do that. I said show you, you got to be wrecked right now. Sergio trying to circle. Now he's going back and forth, keeping Pitbull guessing. Patricio, he's got to get going, man. We're in the fifth round. Sergio puts a left and right in there, right back to the center. The Fina moving back, throwing the jab out there. And Pitbull can't get anything going. Nice flurry to the body by Pettis. A lot of energy. Beating up the body and then going back to the circle. Pitbull throwing the left in there to the face of Sergio. Nice uppercut by Pitbull. Pushing Pettis to the fence. As Pettis is trying to strike from off the cage. They separate. 235. On the clock. Fifth round. He defended his belt more than his brother. That's a crazy stat. Wow, that is crazy. That is pretty crazy. But here's the deal. Showtime was doing this shit in the UFC, whereas Sergio failed. But Sergio, was a, he was a baby in the UFC, very young. Had promise. I, I tell you, Sergio in the UFC now, you, know, you look at the bantamweights. I mean, he could make some noise. He could. He's, only, he's still only 29 years old. The problem is, I mean, I, mean, I don't know. He's boring. Like he's got the he's got the highlight reel knockout ability, but if he doesn't hit on those shots, you know he's just gonna get these decisions. Pitbull moving in on him. Sergio blasts the the flurry. Sergio looking good. He's about to win four of these five rounds. Unless uh, Pitbull gets something here. Pitbull's trying to hit him with the left. Nice left. Oof. Sergio tags him to the face with one thirty on the clock. Let's go. Wonderful, wonderful. Come on, champs. We got 600 people in here, and we're still getting ready. We still have one more fight. Pitbull's trying to catch a mistake here. He's trying to, he's trying to catch Sergio reaching. But Pettis is just too smooth, man. The game plan working out nicely. He's keeping Pitbull chasing him now. Pitbull's on the hunt. He's got 105 left. Does Pitbull retire, guys? What do you think? He's on a three-fight win streak. He's still only 35 years of age. Do you think Pitbull might hang it up? Or do you think he keeps it going? Nice right hand by Pettis. I mean, he's done He's done a lot. He's done it all. Like, what, what more does Pitbull have to prove? With 40 fucking professional fights. Going on 41 here. They collide. They separate. They're back to the center. 39 seconds left. Pitbull has another fight. What? Oh, shit. You're right. Isn't he fighting in the, the Ryzen thing, too? Right? Isn't he doing that cross-promotion thing again? Yo, hit the like button. Listen to Wes. He knows what's up. Bash it up, baby. 
As time is about to expire, that's true. I think Pitbull does have another fight coming up. 15 seconds left. A spinning back fist by Pitbull. But Sergio just shakes it off. Eight seconds left. Pitbull's trying to stay. Who knows, man? We're going to a decision. You never know what these judges are watching. People start standing up in the crowd. Two seconds left. Pitbull trying to go for the head kick. It's over. All right. Pettis should win this fight. Unless we got crazy scores. But um, good title defense for Pettis. Terrible fight to watch, but it happened. We're getting ready for the main event. Hopefully we get a better, a little bit better activity. Thank you, Jackson, for the subscribe. Hey, we got some new subscribers over here. Just slipped in behind my head. Thank you. I appreciate you guys coming in. Thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow, too, for the UFC fights. And after this stream, we're going to do UFC predictions and bets. So that's going down. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to hear it to the... I'm going to listen to the scores. Fucking hell, man. That was tough to get through. It was tough to get through. I think John McCarthy fell asleep. It would be so funny if the announcer just said, that fight was terrible. Oh, is that uh, Patricio? Patricio's fighting Ryzen? Oh, so maybe it isn't... Who knows? Who cares? I tell you, Bellator, I feel like I, I just keep getting disappointed. I keep coming back and getting disappointed. Like, I, I hope for the best with Bellator, and I just, I, they just keep letting me down. Pitbull win? Dude, that would be hilarious if Pitbull wins. They're tallying the scores now. They're going to bring Patchy Mix in there? Patchy Mix got the belt on his shoulder. Oh, I told you it was who it took. Oh, Lisa, man. That's not a that's not a bold prediction. <clears throat> okay, here we go. That's like saying I told you jalapenos jalapenos are spicy. Okay, Scott Coker's in there. My wish is complete. Okay, unanimous. All right, all right. They're all on the same page here. Yeah, dude, it's making me fall asleep, man. Pettis gets the win. Congrats, champ. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's rough. Just get to the decision. Let's go. Pitbull drops to his knees. Pettis yells into the camera. I got to wonder, Pitbull on his knees right now? I'm telling you, man. He He's still on his knees. I think he's contemplating retiring. He's still on his knees. Wow, this is a weird sight. So they're about to interview Pettis, and Pitbull is on his knees here. He's, I think he's contemplating. He's like, dude, this is really strange. He's still on his knees. What the hell? Like, he's just, he's got his eyes closed. He's on his knees. I think he's contemplating suicide. No, uh, retiring. They're still going to interview Pettis. Pettis' face looks like the anonymous mask. You know that hacking mask? I'm telling you, when the fight was going on, I'm like, I think this guy's going to retire. Let's see. Maybe he's got diarrhea. Maybe he shit himself. <laughs> he's going to pull a katana? <laughs> he's going to pull a katana. All right, Pettis is talking to the crowd. These Pettis brothers are boring as fuck. Like, I don't know, like, I don't care what they have to say. I don't even care. Does anyone care what the Pettis brothers have to say? They got a lot of skill, man. These guys are athletes, right? Pettis just beat Roy Jones Jr., his brother. They have flashy knockout ability, champions. But God, are they going on the mic? I just want to, all I want to listen to is the sweet sounds of Scott Coker rolling around in that cage naked. All right, so Pitbull walked out of the cage. So maybe he won't retire. He still beat it, Roy. I know he's old and past his prime, but he still fucking beat him, which is, like, pretty impressive in his own game. All right, so then I got Patchy Mix in there. Holy cow, they got a face-off. Patchy a lot bigger than Sergio. 
Man, Sergio, is Pat, was Patchy got fucking stilts on? All right, a lot of respect by both boys. All right. Dude, Patchy, all right, this fight should be a little more entertaining. Patchy versus Sergio. Okay, here we go. They're going <laughs> to... Sergio's getting on his toes. <laughs> yeah, why is Patchy? What kind of shoes does Patchy have? How tall is Patchy, man? Oh, my God. All right. I want Yol to win, too, man. All right, we're getting ready for the main event. Yeah, Patchy's massive compared to Sergio, huh? Scott Coker taking pictures. All right, let's let's try to... Let's try to digest what we just witnessed, or if you're just listening, what you just listened to. That was torture. That was literally torture. I felt like someone was trying to get information out of me. Like someone was torturing me and trying to get information out of me. That was a rough watch. Especially after the Corey Anderson versus Phil Davis fight. Back to back with that nonsense. Then the other fight before that, another uh, decision. Sergio's girl is really all over him. Sergio about to get some tonight. Please, Romero and Nemkov, don't fuck with me, man. Please, give me fire. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. <laughs> Please, for fuck's sake. Uh, uh, let me take a quick piss, man. I'll be right back. And we'll get into the main event. Never stop coming, okay? I never stop coming. Just never stop coming. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll take a leak. Before we get to the next fight, okay? Hit that like button too. Okay, we watched the Connor video. We watched three terrible fights. And now we're going to watch the main event, Nem Cobb versus Romero. Hit that like button. Hit it. Who's going to win the main events? We're going to get to predictions. UFC coming up. We're going to spin the fucking wheel. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Yoel Romero is fighting for the belts. We're going to react to it. Romero's 15, 6, and 0. Oh. 15, 6, and 0 oh is a soldier of God. He be beat the... <laughs> he beat Melvin Manhof. He beat Alex Pelosi. Uh, Pelosi, excuse me. And he lost to Phil Davis. He uh, was supposed to fight Anthony Johnson. May he rest in peace. So his Bellator debut was the Phil Davis fight. Lost by a split decision. He won two fights. And now all of a sudden he's fighting for a title. I don't know how Bellator pulled this together. But, um, you know. I'm excited to see, you know. The threat of an upset. Some craziness happen here. Listen, it's impossible. There's no way Yoel wins this fight. There's no way. 
But I hope he does. Yo Romero's 46 years of age, and that might not even be accurate. Uh, Nemkov, 30. 16 years older. 46. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> He's in great shape, Romero. He's a plus 375 underdog. So we'll see what happens here. You know what? I might as well spin this wheel before we get into the main event. Thank you guys for the donations. If you'd like to contribute to the show, drop a Streamlabs donation. Hit the uh, link in the description down below. And uh, you can play one of our songs from our jukebox, or you can hit the super duper chat. We got Grandpa Moss, we got Isaac Cat Moss, we got Theo Gate, we got Ninja Choke on the wheel. The winner will get something from the MMAholes.com. We got a store over there. Good luck, and thank you for the donations, friends. Here we go. Whoa, that's loud. Wow, that was a heavy spin, guys. We also have a chance of phone calls as well, so if it lands on phone calls, we can do that. That's a, that was a, I, I, I must be on steroids. That spin was really impressive. Okay, who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Ninja Choke! Ninja Choke gets it! He gets it! Ninja Choke! Get something from the MMAholes.com, baby! So go on over to the MMAholes.com. Pick out some swagalicious merch. And if you're not a winner... Go check out our store on the MMAholes.com. Go support the show with some swag. Merch store. Slide into the DMs. Ninja Choke, collect your prize. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We got the store. We got the store up and going here. These designs will not last forever. So make sure if you like something. Go over to the MMAholes.com. Thank you for playing the Fuka Friday points game. We rigged wheel. It would have been rigged if my, my mom won or my dad won. That would have that would have been rough. That would have been a very people would have demanded a respin, but that did not happen. It did not land on calls. No, it did not land on calls. Calls is a small chance over there. You know, I don't mind calls, but the reason why we have it such a small chance. Is because, like, every time we open the phone lines, our views d dive. <laughs> our views just, like, they just nosedive really bad, you know? So I feel like, I don't know, like, it's cool. I like it, but, you know, it seems like our community doesn't like it. Uh, Congrats to the Ninja Choke. Yeah, a good, a swole member of the community landed on a good name right there. Good, good man. Good man, that Ninja Choke. All right, so let's get ready for this fight. Soldier of God, he is still in fantastic shape at 46 years of age. He is my age. Should not be fighting at my age. Should not be fighting. New Dragon Dojo shirt, let's go. All right, I like that shirt. I'm a fan of that. All right, so yeah, let me know the size and color, you know, the address, the name, all that, and we'll, we'll send it out ASAP. I am convinced that my unborn son has a good sense of humor, and he's playing a prank on me. He did not come out for this card just so I could be tortured by this. But son, unborn son, I'm going to get the last laugh because we're going to witness Yoel Romero shock the world at 46 years of age and beat Vadim Nemkov. Let's go! Let's go! Shock the world! See you soon, boy! Yoel Romero making the walk. The Cuban Missile about to do it here. Shock the world. The man that's afraid of heights, but not afraid of Russians. Going to get it done here. <laughs> I don't believe any of that, but I'm going to pretend I do. This is a good fight. I hope you're right. This will be a five-round fight here. I hope you're right. I want fireworks. I got Nemkov. I think Nemkov very well could finish this fight. I do. But... I hope for the opposite. Uh, 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 he's not even born yet. He's giving you grief. Yeah, I know, right? I know, man. Like, I was thinking about that when I was taking a leak. I was like, uh, I think my son is already pranking me. He's not even here. Like, we could have been in the hospital, witnessed a beautiful birth. But he now I'm here struggling through a Bellator Cup. But I got to be honest with you. I'm actually having a good time. Yo, Romero, what is his secret? Why does he look so young? What is going on here? Is it black don't crack? Like, what's going on here? Yo, Romero. Like, 
The dude does not age. And he's got the neck beard. Dude is jacked. He looks exactly the same. Dude has no wrinkles. Steroids? I feel like steroids ages you. A lot of people on steroids look horrible. You know? Uh, if Romero wins, isn't that the oldest MMA champ? I mean, uh, currently? Man. Yeah, who's older than... Yeah, I guess he is. Well, don't worry. That's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, Cubans lie about their age. Like, they, Yeah, I know. I know. But that means he's older, right? He should be older than what they say. He looks like a... I mean, he looks exactly the same. It's, it's nuts. This guy does not age. Now Nemkov is about to make the walk. Here we go. What's up, Philippines? How you doing, man? This is the last fight. And then we're going to go into the UFC Predictiones. We're going to move into that. <clears throat> is anyone watching PFL? No, I'm not watching it. People said there's a lot of finishes. Listen, you got... The, the co-main event was was terrible. But it was, you know, the, on paper, I had to watch that. I could not watch PFL over that. And this fight over here, it makes no sense. I don't understand why Romero's fighting for this belt. But he is. He is. You know what doesn't make sense too? Max Holloway fighting the Korean zombie. I thought about it against today and I was like, I wanted to vomit. I don't know how they matched that fight, but that's happening. So Korean zombie's going to die. Again. Oh, uh, boy. Okay, so here comes Nemkov. He's a scary dude, man. I still think Nemkov could be a problem in the UFC. I do. I think Nemkov is one of those guys that would be fun to watch. Could beat, compete at light heavyweight over there. But he's not. He's in Bellator. And he's looking to, to defend his belt. He's a minus 550 favorite. Woo. Uh, they have a lot of quick finishes. Too many. Yeah, they're either just long, drawn-out fights or they're just quick finishes, right? We can't have in the middle. Is Fedor in his corner? Wow, Fedor is in Nemkov's corner. The last emperor. Is that his true stat? Romero never being finished? That sounds accurate. Yeah, because I can't recall him being finished. Split decision, decision. Is that true? Um, no, he has been finished in Strike Force. He lost to he lost in 2011, many moons ago. Um, and then you got the Olympic Games before games before that. So he has been finished in Strike Force. 2011. So fake, fake news, but almost, almost true. I don't know who will beat him in 205. Nemkov is a, he's an issue. Corey Anderson was this close. If it wasn't for that legal, what headbutt or whatever the hell it was, Corey would have beat him. But then the, the, what's, what's so scary about Nemkov is how much he adjusted and was able to completely swing the game, pl game plan against uh, Anderson. So, yeah, Nemkov is a scary dude, man. All right, here we go. So, 46 Romero, 30 for Nemkov, 6 foot apiece, 203 under championship weight for Nemkov. Romero hits the 205, 73 inch reach for the Cuban, 76 inch reach for the Ruski. We're about to watch the light heavyweight world championship. Make sure you bash that like button. Where are we at with likes? I don't even know. 208 with 500 people. Why? What? How does that even work? Guys, Two o what? I don't get it. I honestly don't understand this. 208 with 500 people watching. That is insanity. Hit that like button, peeps. Let's go. Bash it up. We're sitting through this stuff. We're telling you how it is. The least you could do is bash that like button. It's almost laughable. Uh, dude, hold on, here we go. Dude, you were so fucking annoying with your last commentary and your last fight. Uh, for this fight, just call the fight. Nobody wants to hear your dumb. Well, listen, Dixie. No wow, Dixie Normus. That's an old ass name. Where have you been? Where have you been, bro? Where have you been? You went off crying how long ago? Then you come back to say something stupid. Get the fuck out! Get out of here, you bum! Get out of here. No one cares about you and your stupid oh, name. Chef. No one cares about your thoughts. 
Sup good to see you MOS and PFL sucks. Max versus Zomno. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Max, yeah, Max is first and he's fighting zombie. Ridiculous. Dixie Normus. Man, that's an old name. That's an OG name. He came back to cry. <laughs> thank you, Jay J Smith, for the donation. Let's go. If this fight sucks, I will tell you if it sucks. If it's good, I'll tell you it's good. Because you know what? It's my show, and I can do whatever the fuck I want. So deal with it. I see it. I say it. Okay? Not going to sugarcoat it. Them Cobb versus Yoel Romero. Coming up next. Fedor in the corner. Clapping. Okay. Jason Herzog is the referee. Let's go, baby. He brings the boys together. Gosh, what what yo Romero are we going to see tonight? Big opportunity for the 46-year-old as we get ready for round number one. They show the dramatic shot of the belt outside of the cage. Yo Romero crouching in front of his opponent. The Russian staring at the squatting 46-year-old. It was cool 10 years ago. But now here he is, squatting at 46. It looks like he's going to take a dump in the mat. Here we go. Round one has done, begun. They touch gloves. The soldier of God swipes away a kick towards the body by Nemkov. Nemkov looks pretty big compared to Romero. Nemkov throwing the left out there. Romero still looking very light on his feet, bouncing in and out. We've seen him devastating. Remember what he did to Chris Weidman? Took his freaking soul. Luke Rockhold took his soul. I love you, boy. Backs up after a double jab by Nemkov comes out there. It's the first of five rounds. Nemkov trying with the outside leg kick. Romero bouncing around. Nemkov backs up as Romero threatens to kick. Nemkov keeps the striking coming forward. He's looking to push the pace. Spinning a heel towards Romero. Misses on that. So Romero showing some speed here at the late age. Swiping away a left hand by Nemkov. Romero bouncing back and forth. Romero throws a kick in there. Bounces off the gloves of Nemkov. Nemkov shoots in with the right hand. Romero bouncing around the head back and forth as Nemkov is trying to get on him. It's going to be interesting if this hits the ground. Nemkov keeping busy with the striking as he throws a left out there towards Romero. But Romero is doing his thing. Romero looks like he's the type of guy... Like that, he looks like he's doing an exercise video instead of fighting sometimes. Sometimes the way he moves looks like you're supposed to be doing some exercises with him. Romero swipes away a left hand by Nemkov. Romero threatens to charge in, doesn't throw. Nemkov throws the left and the kick to the body. Nemkov with the head kick. Kick to the body again, a right hand Nemkov. Nemkov is showing no fear as he comes in on Romero. Romero just weathering a little bit of a storm here. Nice kick to the body again by Nemkov. Trying to break down the 46-year-old. Oh, boy. I like the aggressiveness of Nemkov, though. Now Nemkov backing up. So he let a lot go there. Kick towards the body. Hits the hands of Romero. Nemkov comes in with the right. Romero switches the legs. Shuffles the feet. Inside leg kick. 244. You never know, right? You never know what Romero is going to come out with. He does have explosive striking, but Nemkov mixing, mixing up very nicely. Throws a jab. Here comes Romero. Shoots in like a lunatic <laughs> and doesn't land anything. There was a quick break by Herzog, and then Nemkov comes in with the head kick. Whoa, right hand by Nemkov, but Romero blazes in a, left, a leg kick, and that trips up Nemkov. He goes wobbling down to the ground and then back up really quick. So that was a quick counter. By Romero. He still has speed. There's no doubt. So that's got Nemkov's attention. Nemkov keeping that right hand up, covering the face. Tries for the head kick. Blocked by Romero. Two minutes on the clock, first round. Nemkov looking to move in. Nice leg kick by Romero. Head kick by Nemkov. That bounces off the arm and the side of the head of Romero. The champion trying to move in. He's being very aggressive here with the rights, the lefts. On Romero. Romero bouncing off the cage. Nice spinning heel to the body by Nemkov. 140 on the clock in the first round. Oh, nice one-two. Yeah, there is a fight. McKee versus Pitbull again. I guess the trilogy is happening. That's on the cage. So, so Patricio does have another fight. 
So that's why he's not retiring. I guess he's moving back up. 120. Unless they left that old ad up there. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Nemkov trying for a head kick again. That's blocked by Romero. Romero's having trouble. So this is that light heavyweight. Romero used to try to hit that middleweight. Now has a little bit more weight to play with. One minute on the clock. Romero hasn't really done anything here to really talk about. Nemkov so far winning this round with 50 seconds left on the clock. Boy. Come on, boys. 40 seconds left. Nemkov comes in with a flurry. Two of them land. And Romero threatens for the lay kick. Backs up. Looking to try to land something late. Nemkov flies in there and finishes the combo with the head kick blocked by Romero. 28 seconds on the clock. Herzog watching the boys. Is Nemkov very light on his feet? Romero lunges. But doesn't throw anything. A right hand by Nemkov coming in. Nemkov's trying to get him with that head kick. He spins in again, trying to disguise it all different ways. Romero not biting. Not looking to get knocked out that way yet, at least. Two seconds on the clock. Okay, round one's over. That goes to Nemkov. Uh, pretty, I mean, lackluster round. It's pretty lopsided, right? Nemkov doing a really good job executing a game plan. Yo, Romero completely nullified there. Uh, Woody, thank you for the subscribe. Catch up on notifications. 650, hit the like button. He always wakes up in the third. Yeah, I mean, Romero's just feeling out Nemkov, you know. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! I'm gonna beat everybody. The Hamza train coming I'm gonna in. finish everybody, everybody, everybody. I'm gonna 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 finish everybody. I'm gonna smash everybody. Wow, we got the we got the ha uh, the Hamza shuffle. The Hamza Mozai shuffle. Mozai reminder when Rafael Fejokovol Ganti knocked Romero out with a flying knee in strike force. I remember when Romero literally shit his pants in the oopk in his purple shorts and said it's water. And I saw Stoolgate live in Las Vegas. Romero no bueno. There you go. All right. Thank you. For, you know, Stoolgate drove me nuts when that happened. That was the Tim Kennedy fight? Yeah, that was nuts. That was crazy stuff, man. Yeah, there was a time where I wasn't the biggest Yo Romero fan. He was accused of cheating in a lot of ways, dousing himself being slippery, doing a lot of little things here and there. Um, but the later years, I was like, I became, I mean, after that Costa fight, you know, Romero really started growing on me. The way he knocked out Weidman. There's a body shot by, thank you so much for the donation, by Nemkov. So Romero's doing that weird thing where he starts barking, you know, after he gets hit. Nemkov throws a nice counter right hand by Nemkov. The Russian slides it in there. Romero bouncing around, 4.05 on the clock. Dixie Normus. Dude, man, I remember remember when you used to be a big part of the community and then you cried like a little bitch? <laughs> and you're still acting like you, acting like a little bitch? <laughs> remember that? Oh, man. Oh, nice right hand. Nice right hand by Nemkov coming in. 620, looking at you being a bitch. <laughs> Ooh, there's a nice body shot by Nemkov coming in on Romero. Romero eating him again. 324. You got to watch this beautiful fight, Jess? Oh, it's the best. It's the best. It's right up your alley. It's Nemkov beating the shit out of Romero. Here's a nice flurry again by the Russian. Damn. Nemkov is just... He's just working on Romero. Romero blocking a head kick. Romero looking a little frustrated out there. The mouth wide open. Nemkov is just doing his thing. You never count out Yol. I mean, he does have the speed and he has power, right? But here we are at light heavyweight. and Nemkov's game plan looks nice. That left hand does land by the Cuban. Nemkov trying to get that head kick up, but that's blocked.
Uh, Nemkov is going to blow it, you think? Dude, that'd be amazing. With 2.33 on the clock, Nemkov is still cruising, man. Flurry of Punch is coming in again. He is really lopsiding this fight. As we are early, Yol comes in with a left hand. So Yol is showing some... Oh, nice head movement by Yol. Nemkov throwing some punches. Yol duck, ducks underneath but doesn't retaliate. As 2.15 on the clock. Oh, Nemkov with the right on the side of the head of Yoel. Nemkov again comes in with that right hand. The left by Nemkov. Nemkov just mixed it up. No attempts for takedowns. None of that. Just a stand-up affair here as Yol does retaliate with a left. Trying for the inside leg kick with a win 54 on the clock. Uh, 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 uh. Nemkov trying for that body shot. Romero, good footwork. Backs up. Avoids the damage. After this, we're going to go into UFC predictions. So if you're a UFC fan... How many people in the chat are a UFC fan? Drop a one if you're a UFC fan in the chat. And if you're just a Bellator fan, let me know that as well. Nemkov letting the feet fly. Trying to look for a highly real knockout. Yol not biting. Yol comes in with a wild left and right. And when I mean wild, he's just winging him in there. Nemkov just steps back and says, just keep swinging that air. Nemkov hits him with the right and the kick with 108. A lot of UFC fans there. All right, baby. We're going to be talking predictions after this. We're going to be we're going to be getting to those predictions and bets for Cannoneer versus Vittori. We're going to watch the ceremonial weigh-ins. We're going to have some fun here, okay? So let's get through this fight. Oh, beautiful body shot by Nemkov. The kick to the body. He's just piecing up Romero. 44 seconds left in the second round. You like all three UFC belts or PFL? There you go. Real MMA fan right there. Do you like them equally, Ferner? Out of curiosity, do you like all three equally? Or do you like one better than the other? After three years, it's hard to agree with you. Dana White. Oh, nice Nemkov. Beautiful patience. Comes in with the left or right. Romero looked very frustrated there. Trying to set a trap for Nemkov. And Nemkov blasts him. Ten seconds on the clock. We're seeing some elder abuse here. Nemkov trying to spin a heel to the head of Romero. Romero steps back. Romero just standing in front of him. You know what we're not seeing from Romero? Remember this move? What happened to that? What happened to Yo Romero's... Like, whatever happened to that? That was your, your best move. Remember when he was fighting Izzy? He was doing that shit. <sighs> okay. Nemkov winning. We go for round number three. The Russian cruising. Yo should use his special move and uh, blast his pants. <laughs> Remember that? Remember that move? The Yola Romero move? Soldier of Possum. Okay, here we go. He's trying. Yeah, he's trying. If Yo breaks oh, it, super chat. optimistically cynical coming in with a deuce. Been out for almost that baby boy born yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're very close. Thank you for the $2 donation. Appreciate that. We were hoping it would be tonight so we wouldn't have to be put through this. But we found out that my son is a practical, he's a prankster. And now I got to sit through this nonsense. Bellator has been very lackluster, the main card. Didn't see the prelims, but this main card is just hot trash. Let's see if we can get a crazy, some crazy action here as we're in the third round. Yol's got to wake up. He's down two. Come on. Let's go. AARP time. Yoel does show a little sense of urgency here, <clears throat> but they're not striking. They're just kind of standing in front of each other. There goes Nemkov with the right. Oh, Romero with a chop to the knee of Nemkov. And Nemkov stumbled back. Now Ravel, uh, Romero blasts him with a left. Dude, that was cool. You all see, he's just working the knee of Nemkov. Dude, that was that was pretty fun. Okay. Romero switches on the stances. And Nemkov trying to bounce in and out. Throws the jab. Nice straight hand right to the face of Romero landing. Nemkov throws the right again after that jab. 4.05 on the clock. Nemkov bouncing in and out on Yoel. Yoel standing in front of him. There's that leg kick again. So Romero's working on that left leg. 
And he's not just hitting the calf. He's stomping on that knee. Hammer fist in that knee. He's trying to blow out my man's knee, but Nemkov comes in with the right. The head kick gets blocked by Romero. Game plan, take out the leg. Romero looking for a way in. Here comes Nemkov with the uppercut in the right. Wobbles Romero. Romero backing up, and Nemkov coming in crazy hot. Here we go. We got a fight. This is Paolo Costa-esque when Romero fought him as Nemkov is marching in. The right hand by Nemkov now on Romero. Romero backs up off the fence. Romero's looking for... Oh, the right again by Nemkov. And Romero says, bring it to me, boy. Romero is showing a chin. The soldier of God eating some more. Nemkov says, I'm going to give it to you. And he's banging him off the face. Romero says, give me more. He loves it. Eats the right. Romero shakes his head no. He's waiting for a counter to come in. Will he pull an Izzy here? As Izzy blasted one on Perea, Romero is backed up to the fence, and Nemkov is just teeing off on him. Nemkov comes in with the left or right. Romero still stands in front of him. 242. Nemkov lands a left hand on the face. Romero just lunges forward left and walks into a jab by Nemkov. Nemkov with the right. The Russian just piecing up Romero. And Romero just eating everything like it's nothing. Holy smokes. Nemkov's looking right at him like, what in the hell do I have to do here? With 219 on the clock, Romero swipes away. Tries to swipe away a left hand, but that lands right on the nose. Nemkov has a target, a bullseye, right in the middle of the face of Romero. And Romero just keeps eating jabs now. <laughs> Trying to put Romero's nose inside out here. Romero ducks underneath the right hand with 157 on the clock. More jabs. The right, the head kick by Nemkov. Okay, Nemkov gets tired. Is that what Romero, just punch yourself, kick yourself out? Is that the game plan? As we have 140 left, Romero backs up. He's playing possum. He starts doing that whole wobbly look. He's doing it again. <laughs> he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to bait in Nemkov. He's doing more wobbly shit. And Nemkov, <laughs> Romero's wobbling some more. He's opening his mouth. He's wobbling some drunken style cult coming in. He's wobbling again. He's walking around. He's waving the arms around. And Nemkov's like, what is going on with this dude? Nemkov's looking to finish him off. We got some Silva Weidman shit going down here. As Romero hits it with the leg kick. Romero's wobbling some more. And Nemkov blasts in a combo. Finished by the right hand. And Romero just eats it. Dude's a mutant. Romero. <laughs> Let's go. How do you not love Soldier of God? How do you not love? He's just, just losing this fight. And he's wobbling. Him. Oh, the left hand by Romero lands. Nemkov is down. No fucking way. And Romero is on top with 40 seconds left. The craziness of Romero working out. Oh, watch out for the knee. Nemkov is grounded. Romero is looking for the Weidman. He's looking for it. And Nemkov blasts off. Separates. 25 seconds left. And Romero wobbles around some more. Comes in with the left. Good head movement as Nemkov looks for the target again. Nemkov shoots in the right hand. Romero, good head movement. Here's the fight. This is what I've been waiting for. Ten seconds left. Now Nemkov still has this round, but Romero has finally made it interesting. With three seconds on the clock, Romero's going like this, and Nemkov just turns around and walks to his corner. Let's go. Let's go. This is what we need. We've been waiting. Three fights in. Finally, we're here. Holy smokes. We're going into championship rounds. Ah, do that from the beginning. Give me some of that from the beginning. So Nemkov looking frustrated. And like I said, it, it feels a lot like when Anderson was baiting Chris Wyman and Chris Wyman caught him. But the most success Romero had here was fighting like this. Didn't win the round, but still made it very exciting. Let's see how this fourth round goes. He's about to get Anderson in the silver. If he, yeah, I mean, yeah. He, but here's the thing. He's blatantly losing this fight, right? I mean, he's 100% he's losing this fight. So now it's time, even if you got to do the goofy shit, 
You just got to hope that something lands, right? So I guess the initial, now is a glove touch over here as Nemkov is the first to tap. So he showed respect and here comes Romero doing his shit again. He's doing his little, he's like salsa dancing out there. <laughs> Romero ducks underneath. He's drunken style walking in, the arms are flailing. He's just hopping in and out. Nemkov trying to cut <laughs> the shit that I was waiting for. It's finally here. Nemkov <laughs> Romero eats the combination. He shakes his head. He's going lunatic mode. He's wobbling shit around. He looks like a drunk girl leaving a club. He looks like that girl leaving the bathroom with, uh, with uh, Conor McGregor. There's a leg kick by Romero. Nemkov is looking to punch and kick his way through this nonsense. And Nemkov hits him with the jab, the right, the left hook by Nemkov. And Romero eats it. The tongue comes out. Every time there's a flush strike that lands, just like the Palo Costa fight, Romero gives him a little tongue. Now we got <laughs> 357 on the clock. The crazy Cuban flailing his arms around at 46 years of age. And Nemkov boxing him up, hitting him to the body. Comes in with the left, the right. Those are hitting blocked arms by Romero. 3.44 on the clock. Yo, Romero just walks in, shelling up as Nemkov lets him fly some more. Romero just walking into punches. Walks into a left again by Nemkov. Romero trying to move the head back and forth and winging a wild left, but that is not going to work, man. We need some more disguise. Nemkov too smart to fool for that. So Nemkov is letting those, land, those lefts go again. Romero wild left over the top missing. 3-12 on the clock. Uh, no shower, guys. That's in your imagination. Ne definitely not happening. Definitely. A left by Nemkov landing, and Yoel just slowly walking in there with his head just forward, keeping his arms like this, and Nemkov zaps in a left and a right. Yoel's eating some nasty shots, man, but... He seems like he's unfazed as he just keeps walking into punches. So I guess Yo Romero is just looking for a finish. He's not looking to outpoint his opponent. He just wants to catch him. And Nemkov is not looking to get knocked out. He's getting in. He's getting out. 2.30 on the clock. The lightweight, light heavyweight world championship on the line. Almost 700 people in here. Hit the like button, baby. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the notification bell. Body shot by Nemkov. The right. Yoel, a nice leg kick again. Yeah, Yoel kind of abandoned that, that leg kick situation. I kind of liked when he was stomping on that knee and doing shit. 2.05 on the clock, but Nemkov is still cruising here. Nice right backs up Romero. Romero's got to get going, man. He's got to get going. He's walking on Nemkov, and Nemkov is landing and moving. Body shot by Romero. Romero putting that tongue back out, moving in. Nemkov zaps one to the body, left or uh, right hand to the face. Nice left again by Nemkov. A chopping right to the thigh by Romero. Oh, Romero just missing as he threw a Cuban missile over the top. That had bad intentions. Yo, that shit came in hot. Gave Nemkov a fade with that thing, but Nemkov, good head movement, zaps in the one two. We're in the fourth round here. Let's go. Just tuned in. I'm assuming Yoel is down on the scoreboard. You assume correct. Fourth round, he's down on every round. About to be down in a fourth. But he did have a fun third of craziness. Body shot Nemkov. Nemkov just piecing him up. So the Oh, nice combo. Three-piece coming in on Romero. And Romero backs up, resets, comes in. Yeah, Romero turned into a punching bag again in this round. All that crazy shit he was doing in the third, he stopped. Maybe his corner said, yo, stop with the nonsense. Possible. As he swipes away a couple of shots by Nemkov. Nemkov inhales deeply, moves back, throws the jab. 37 seconds left on the clock. Nemkov, nice counter right hand on Romero. Romero just eats it and walks in. All right, here we go. 30 seconds left in the fourth. So the craziness of the third round was basically everything. This round was just basically Yoel being a punching bag. There's the left, the right by Nemkov. Yoel just walks in, charges forward, three-piece missing. Combination punches, kicks. Oh, the right hand by Romero pops in. He leaped in with the right, 
best strike of the round, maybe of the fight for Romero. But Nemkov just absorbed it. Fine. Ah, some agility by Romero, but he's got one round to try to snatch that belt from the Russian. As if I'm Nemkov, I just circle, circle, get in, get out, don't take any unnecessary chances. And you got your the belt stays around your waist. What do you think in the chat? I mean, does anyone think Romero won around? I would say we're all on the same page here. But he, you know, listen, he's fun in a weird way. He's fun in his own way. Y'all okay home soon? I mean, I don't know, man. Y'all's got a he's got a set of trap. So here's that leaping punch. Bang, right on the chin. I mean, that was definitely... Oh, here's another angle of it. Leaping in. Boom! Oh, no, that's, 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 a, that's another one, but that grazed off the nose. But the flying right hand that came in by Romero, that was the best punch of the fight for Romero. Clean. Nemkov just eat, ate it. <laughs> you all's love. You all's life. Okay, here we go. Let's go, champs. Let's go. Here we go. If you want a member up, hit that join button. Let me see those emojis come in. If you're a member, take over the chat right now with the emojis. Let me see what you got there. Throw those emojis. Drop the carnage emojis as Nemkov is up on John McCarthy's scorecard every round. And this round should be interesting as my clock has not started. We'll sync it up here at 426. And, yeah, you could see in both guys here that they both have a little pep in their step late. Here we go. Synced up. But Nemkov stand right in front of him, throwing a double jab with the right hand. Romero's trying to get in there, and there's a lot more speed here between the two. And Nemkov shooting it for a takedown, missing with the follow-up left. Romero stops it and ducks underneath the hook. 4-10. Let's go. Let's go, champs. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go to join Jose Dat One. Show them emojis in the chat. Be proud. Be a member. Show those belts off in that chat as Romero tries with the leg kick and misses. Nemkov looking to counter in with that right hand. Misses with that. 350 left in the fifth and final round. Nemkov looking to get a sweep here. Your Romero's getting work, but he's always scary. Um, yeah, he is. He is. He's fun, but I don't know. I don't know at 46 right now. Nemkov is so good. You know, something crazy has got to happen. It's got to happen quick. The left and right by Nemkov again as he's just putting on a clinic. Romero does counter in with a left. That one gets on the bot button of Nemkov. Nemkov throwing a left out there. Man, I wish we would have seen this Romero earlier. You know, like this version, but... It's like, yeah... Uh. Oh, there we go. Nemkov just blasting him in some more. And Romero's going back to his drunken style. He's wobbling around. And Nemkov looking to blast one twos forward. 255. Romero's trying to disguise. Oh, charged him with a left. And Nemkov with a fancy footwork resetting back to the center. Nemkov striking in at 41%. Follows up. There's another right hand. Beautiful. Coming in by Nemkov. 240 on the clock. <clears throat> two, now 2.30 on the clock. Romero trying to get a last second big upset here. He does land a left hand as he's trying to move in on Nemkov. Oh, there's a left hand by Romero. That lands on the temple of Nemkov. Nemkov goes back to the circle. That's all I was saying. Circle, strike, get out. Circle, circle, Nemkov. You won four fucking rounds, bro. Get in, get out. And that's what he's doing. See, listen to my corner advice, guys. Romero's got to cut him off. Nemkov threatening for a takedown there, but there's some blood that appeared on the eye of Nemkov. It's a bummer, man. You know, that Yol just poured it on late. There's a left hand by Romero coming in on Nemkov. He's got him moving backwards. Nemkov shoots him for the takedown. Romero stops it. It is what is very impressive. A nice hook by Romero. He's got Nemkov to the cage. What's impressive is Romero is 46 years of age with a gas tank like this in the fifth round. He's got the underhooks on Nemkov, trying to put the big Russian maybe down to the mat. Let's see. Nemkov overlocking over the arms, tying up Romero. 
And let's see. Is Romero going to do anything with this? With 122 on the clock, the 46-year-old is trying to get something going. Nemkov is trying to spin him. The former Olympian. Romero looking for the takedown. He gets it. Romero taking down Nemkov with 109 on the clock. Something fell out. What the hell was that? Something fell out of the cage. Romero rolls Nemkov over and gives him a nut, a face full of nut here. Cuban ball sack on the face of Nemkov. Nemkov just holding on. He's like, he's got 55 seconds to hold on for dear life. As Romero is looking to do the unthinkable, he puts his ball sack on Nemkov's face, making him pay to hold. And they're north-south on each other. Nemkov has some Cuban nuts on his mouth. And Romero's looking to land some elbows to the belly. Romero's got 34 seconds. Here's some body shots by Romero. He is sitting on him and landing more body shots. Nemkov puts the knee in the way. Romero looking for half guard. And Nemkov trying to sprawl out. Romero gives him a face full of balls again. The soldier of God trying to keep Nemkov down. Oh, my God. Half side control, excuse me, and elbows from the top by Romero. Nemkov's uh, squirming around, eating elbows to the rib cage. Romero finally winning a round over here. Left to coming in by a soldier of God. You know, this is so, it's so, it's so frustrating. The fight's over. It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Because Romero, honestly, like where was that earlier? Where was that earlier? Ugh. So frustrating. Like, listen, Nemkov won, not surprised. Nemkov was a big favorite for a reason. But it's just like, it's like this this slow play for two, two to three rounds. All decisions, Bellator shit the bet again. Nemkov will stay on still, not even a question. Soldier of God had a last, a good last round, but damn, man. Like, I would have liked to see Romero start off with that crazy wobbly style. You know, frustrate Nemkov, make him swing and, you know, do things that he's not, I don't know, it's just weird. The game plan, or maybe, I don't know, maybe Romero just switched game plans mid-fight because his original wasn't working. Maybe that's what happened, I don't know. But um, he got schooled. Balls to the face. The only good part about that, if you're a Romero fan, is you got to see him dunk his nuts on Nemkov's face in the final round. Is that it for Romero? Does he keep going? He's probably going to fight until he's 50. So Scott Coker's got the belt. Uh, Romero looks like he's still got the gloves on. The judges attack match and they give the fight to Romero. <laughs> Dude, that'd be something else. Stick around, guys, because after this, we're going to do our UFC predictions for the fight card tomorrow. So we're going to do bets and predictions to end the stream. Thank you guys for stopping by. Appreciate you guys' company. We spun the wheel. The donations were fire tonight. Thank you for the likes as well. Appreciate your support. It's completely free. The like button. Bash it up. Okay, here we go. Scores. I don't know, Cole. That, that was weird, right? I don't know. Maybe someone threw something from the crowd. Oh, Ron McCarthy's there? John McCarthy's son, is that? Okay, unanimous decision. Romero. Yo, Romero now. Nemcop, baby. And still, Romero giving respect. Does he kiss him? Come on, soldier of God. Kiss. Give him a smooch. Give him a smooch. Give, give him a kiss. No? Okay. I thought he was going to kiss him like he kissed Rockhole. All right. Nemkov wins. That card. Dude. Bellator. Oh, Bellator. Oh, Bellator. What are we going to do with Bellator? Thank you, Sausage. That's right. The true main event coming your way. We're going to win some money. By the way, last card, I did it again. Plus Money Moss. Hit it late. Will I plus money tonight? We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, friends, 
We're going to dazzle you. We're going to show the face-offs. I didn't see the face-offs yet. We're going to show the face-offs. We're going to do the predictions. I want you guys to hit the likes. We are not done. And tomorrow will be live for the UFC event, so we're going to do fight a commentary for that. We'll bring you back in the Dragon's Lair over there. We made some new friends tonight. Uh, thank you to those who subscribed to the channel. Appreciate that. As we hit, we're looking to hit some more goalie goals. PFL is going to buy Bellator. Like, is it uh, confirmed? I heard rumblings of that rumor again. Like, I don't know what's going on, but uh, Bellator's a mess. PFL's a mess. Maybe if two messes come together, maybe that'll help. But yeah, we're going to show the face-offs. We're going to do the predictions. We're going to make some money. So stand by, as we'll be right back. Dun 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 Oh, that car was trash. That was a two out of ten. Two point one. Two point one out of ten, Bellator. I don't know why I pay for showtime. What am I doing? Ugh. This is number one bullshit. UndisputedBelts.com is the website. Thank you to our sponsors. All right, we have witnessed the Bellator event, which was hot, steaming, stinky trash. But the predictions are going to be complete fire. As we're going to give you the lock bets, I'm going to look at this card. I'm going to give you my expert analysis. I'm going to break down these fights, and I'm going to give you winning picks because that's what I like to do over here. I like to give you guys the locks, the wins, the bets, the predictions. I want to win you guys some money. So we're going to go over, get rid of this card, get this thing out of my way. Uh, PFL, Maurice Green, how's he doing? I saw someone in the chat say that John Jones, oh my God, my fucking allergies are so bad. 
Dude, Maurice Green, isn't he? He, he was a UFC reject. I know he, t he tra trains with John. That's your main event? Bro, get out of here with this. With this nonsense. Um, okay, what else we got? Where's my UFC? But he's getting mauled. You're throwing 500 in my lock? That means you're going to win, baby. You're going to win. I got to see what my lock is. So, like all prediction shows... Actually, what, what's going on over here? Our buddy John Sweeney is headlining a card. LFA 160. Tyson the 16th, right? Oh, did he win? John Sweeney brought Wonderboy on our show. I don't know if you guys remember that. About announced. Wait, what? Did it happen yet? Like, what's going on? All right, a little sidetracked. Excuse me, bacon powder? Did John Sweeney win? All right, here we go. Anyone watching that? Uh, bum, ba, da, dun, 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 Bellator, you suck a dick. All right, uh, let's go. Let's get these predictions. So we're going to go check out the weigh-ins. I didn't see any of this. UFC Vegas. We're going to watch for the first time with you guys. 75. Uh, weigh-ins. Okay. Man, Cannon near Vittori is a... I, I, I still don't have a pick yet. I still did not make my pick for this fight. So, I'm going to literally make it game time. So, you're going to have to stick around for this. But Cannon near and Vittori. This is a solid matchup. That's a pretty solid main event. Although, it could be a solid decision as well. I made a prediction once and was immediately beaten up. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Let's pull another topology over here so I can get some more stats. Set this up. Okay. All right. So if you want to make predictions, oh, go. Super oh, chat. Yeah, super chat. How you doing, super chat? What's up? Name Kov beats Hill and Arman beats Charles. You agree? Uh, no, uh, no, ah, uh, oh, fucking hell. Uh, man, Nemkov is pretty good, but Corey Anderson showed that he's beatable. No, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I think Nemkov is a problem. I do. He's only 30 years of age. I think he's a very good fighter and he would be an issue in the UFC, but... I think we you do see the levels. You know, if, if Nemkov were to go over there, he he would definitely look human. So I think people, you know, people sleep it on Jamal Hill. Jamal's done some pretty special shit. The problem is Jamal does not look at athletic in any way. You know, so people look at him and they're like, oh, this guy, how good could he possibly be? He looks like a freaking dad bod goofball. Jamal's a beast. He's an absolute beast. If he beats Yuri Prohaska, dude, Jamal is like legit the real deal. You know, like... We can't really doubt Jamal Hill if he beats Yuri. So I'm going to pump the brakes. I'm going to say Jamal would beat Nemkov. Um, we're talking Bellator. We're talking. Listen, let me put it to you this way Nemkov had trouble with a. Like he couldn't finish a fucking middleweight. Yellow Romero's a middleweight. So, and, and, and then the third, in the fifth round, he got, you know, got fucked up by Yoel. So yeah, no, Hill, Hill beats Nemkov. Thank you for the donation, though. I appreciate that. I, for a second there, I was like going to doubt myself, but no, I would definitely go Hill. Um, okay. <laughs> pound for pound, best chest tattoo. Yeah, Jamal Hill and Darren Elkins, easily the best chest tattoos of all time. Not even a question. All right, so go to the M themmaholes.com. Make your predictions. It's completely free. And just did you update? Do you know if you updated the Pick'em League? If you can just double check. Make sure that's updated. Uh, how many fights we got on this thing? Uh, 12. Okay. Let's do this. Let's roll through this. I want to thank everyone for sticking around late. And let's get some predictions, baby. Let's go. Let's get some bets. All right. So, Modestus Bukowskis versus Zach Pauga. That is the first fight on the card. Uh, Bukowskis Bukaki from Lithuania has a minus 200 favorite under his name, but that doesn't necessarily mean everything. The thing that's a little alarming is the record of Pauga. I mean, he came from Cage Warriors, he lost, and then has one win against Jordan Wright. 
He should not win this fight. Um, is this a short notice fight? Is he coming in on short notice? What the? What is going on? What kind of matchmaking is this nonsense? Let's look at the face off. That's a weird one. Does anyone know if that's short notice? Destus Bukowskis taking on Zach Paunga. Paunga. Paunga Chaka. Unga, unga, unga. I can't pick. I can't pick. I got to pick Bukowskis. How did he lose? He lost by knockout, decision, knockout. Oh, both Cage Warriors guys. Um, I can't stop this feeling. I'm going to say decision. Ha, da, 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 da. Have these guys run into each other in Cage Warriors? Uh, da, da. So he lost in the UFC, went to Cage Warriors, came back. Got the, yeah, I would have to go with this guy with the. All right, I don't know what the fuck's. I don't know what's up with that matchmaking. Palgas trains with Curtis Blades. He trains with the Brown Bear too. Devin Clark, the greatest fighter of all time. Ronnie Lawrence, no bet on that one. Ronnie Lawrence, uh, very low forehead hair, so I appreciate that. He's coming off a loss against Kakramanov, great name. Uh, Daniel Argueta coming off a win against Aguirre. You say Argueta and I say Aguirre. Got a unanimous decision, lost to Damon Jackson, been on our show. Uh, Diego Silva, split decision, LFA stuff, okay. I would imagine Lawrence is going to win this one, but... I might go with the under here. Let's see. We got New Mexico versus Tennessee. We got a little Jackson Wink action. 31 to 29, 5857. Five, two inch reach advantage for Argueta. Okay, let's look at this. I can't stop this feeling. I gotta be careful. I might get copyright. I might get a, a I might get a strike for singing that. Up next, we're in the bantamweight division. This guy is, is this guy Ben Stiller over here? He's got a very Ben Stiller face and body. Like, he even walks in like Ben Stiller. Is this Zoolander? I can't stop Up this. Up next, we're in the bantamweight division. He's like, I'm Ben Stiller. What the fuck? This is the UFC version of Ben Stiller? Bantamweight division, Ronnie Lawrence takes on Dan Arquette. I kind of want to pick him because he looks like Ben Stiller. How come he doesn't look like in his topology? How did he do over here? So he lost to Damon Jackson. That Was that the Damon Jackson with his brother? I don't know. He's got more. Dis uh, fucking hell. This fight. What the fuck is up with this fight? I can't pick Ben Stiller. He's got a. What do you, should I pick Ben Stiller? What do you guys think? Usman's brother has heavy hands. Usman's brother is shit. <laughs> Bobby Green is whiny weird. Uh, you you sound uh, similar that you wait. You sound so similar that you your copy you're blocked by the heart. That's what sucks about this new heart that they added to the chat. I can't see a damn thing you're saying. Oh here we go. You sound so similar that you might actually get a copyright. I know right? It sounds just like the fucking song. I can't stop this feeling. Copyright trick. All right, I think I'm going to go against Ben Stiller, although I want to pick him. He looks just like a character of a Ben Stiller movie. He even got the, was he wearing Oakleys? When was the last time you saw someone wearing Oakleys? <sighs> Fuck. He's younger. He's got the reach. He's out of uh, Jackson Wink. Decision, knockout, submission. Nah, I'm just going to pick this kid. I'm just going to pick a decision. Ronnie Lawrence decision. I'm going to go with the experience. Although Ben Stiller can get it just because he looks like Ben Stiller. Uh, Bleda versus Fernandez. Wow, what a weak start to this card, huh? Bleda versus Fernandez. Bleda is coming off the loss to uh, Silva. And you have the contender series win decision. She got a sympathy contract. Then Fernandez, LFA. Oh, my God. This is brutal. How are these girls so high up on the card? Uh, not high up, but higher than the other cans. How did they figure out which can goes higher than the other one? Dude, this card is terrible. What the what the hell's going on with this card? All right. We got some fucking space movie haircut going on here. She looks like she's in the fifth element, this girl. Bletta. Yeah, you got a Nazi haircut, you're going to win. 
right? That's a Nazi haircut. Like, I had the shaved sides and the long hair on top, but the way... It, it's not very good. Bathroom break fights with Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor bathroom break fights. Let's celebrate the subscriber over here, 905 Harry. Thank you for subscribing. Champion. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with the Nazi, even though she just lost. Ah, oh, super chat. I'm going to go with the Nazi. Ronaldo. Why MMA fans toxic? They're worse than soccer fans. <laughs> yeah, and MMA fans are rough. They are rough. I don't know what that is, the toxicity. You know what, though? There, there are toxic fans in team sports as well. They're, they're, they're there. I've been, I've been a part of toxic. It just seems like MMA. F you know what it is? I, I, here's what it is. Each week is a new card, new fights, right? There's no, you don't have to be stuck to one fighter. Where in team sports, you pick your team, you live or die with your team. You're up and down. You're humbled. But in MMA, you don't get humbled. Your guy or gal loses, you just jump on the next card and talk shit about other fighters. You know? So that's what it is. It's the flip-flopping of fans that makes the sport great. It also makes it toxic. But toxic MMA fans make things fun. They do. They make things a little fun. Because they're crazy knuckleheads that spark up interesting conversation and makes you want to punch them in the face, you know? So I don't hate toxic fans. But that's why. They don't experience the heartfelt losses of like losing in the Stanley Cup finals, you know, or you make it to the Super Bowl and your team loses. That is a devastating feeling as a sports fan. Whereas in MMA, you never have that feeling. You feel bad. You're like, oh, that sucks, man. I really wanted that fighter to win. I'm a big fan of that fighter. And then next week, you just forget about it. Whereas if you lose in the Super Bowl, months later, you're just hiding in a corner, crying your eyes out. There's your explanation. All right, Bleda for the win. I'm going to go because she's got that crazy dyke Nazi haircut decision. Easy work. Easy picks from me. Uh, Bondar versus Carlos Hernandez. And thank you for the donation, Mr. Ronaldo. You're very wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Boy, oh boy. Ukraine versus Illinois. This card is, this card is not starting off very good. This is just just goes to show you when they have events every weekend, it's just it's very thin. Slim pickings. I mean, you got this guy, he can't he made his UFC debut, he lost, and look how high up he is on this card. Then this guy came in the contender series, split decision win, got submit what dude, what is going on here? This is literally will they find these people in Walmart? This is bum fights, what's going on here? No, no disrespect, guys. I can't do what you do. But what I can do is say something stupid. Is this bum fights? What's going on here with these fighters? Hernandez versus Bondar. Okay. They could all kill me. So don't hurt me, fighters. Let's look at this face off. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Up next, we're in the flyweight division. Dennis Bondar takes on... Carlos Hernandez. Hernandez looks like he could win a fight. And he also has this. See, this is very important. If you ever see well, if you ever see this on a fighter, always pick them. And I'm going to show you a key thing in, in predictions and betting. When you see that popping out, that little alien that's coming out of their rib, not sure what that's called. It's like a rib boner or something like that. You see that, you pick that fighter. You always if you're if you're confused, you never seen him fight, that's Carlos Hernandez, right? Hernandez will win. Even though he's the underdog, he's going to win this fight. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Wait. Let me pump the brakes. Oh, no. He's not going to win. This guy. Look at this guy. 16-4-0. Bro, this guy's got so much experience. And his name is Psycho. Oh, wait. Okay. Go against the bump. Man. Wow. Looks are deceiving. All right. Go against the bump, guys. I'm going to go against my... Now, if I lose this fight, it's because I went against the bump. But this guy's got all these finishes and shit against cans. This guy's got a bunch of decisions. All right, I'm going to say, how did he lose? He lost by submission. Okay. I'm going to go Bondar. I'm going to go submission in, in one. I'm going to say he just takes him out. He's going he's gonna to take the bump off and submit him with his own bump. Okay. There we go. It's done. 
I went against my better judgment. Now, if I lose this fight, it's because of the bump. It's because I went against the bump. But I'm going to go against it because the bump doesn't have much experience and he kind of, I don't know, his resume sucks. Anyway. Who are you picking? So far, I don't see any bets. I wouldn't jump on any bets early in this. This this is literally like coin flip weird shit. I don't know. Some weird ass fights here. So we got uh, Kang with his like his fake belt. He's very happy about that belt. He's from South Korea. He's coming off a win, unanimous decision versus Bachelor Dana. That's not a bad win. Ronnie Yaya lost a decision. Uh, Liu split decision. Uh, Brandon Davis split decision. Then we got Mexico. You know I love Mexico. Taha knockout decision. So not much UFC experience. So we have experience versus no experience. If I were to go Mexico versus South Korea, if I was just to go, if I was just to go by where they live, I would go Mexico all day, right? He's got fancy neck tattoos. That doesn't mean anything, but. The the power of Mexico usually prevails if I don't give a shit about the fighters. So, I'm probably gonna go Mexico. He's got a neck tattoo. It hurts. A bantamweight. Ba okay, Kang versus Quinones. Yeah, I go in Quinones all day. Although Kang has a great body, but I'm not going by the body. Okay, I'm not gonna be smitten by this man's muscles. I'm gonna go with Quinones. He's a favorite. Okay, and how is he gonna win this? I can't stop this feeling. You got a decision win. I hope I, man, I hope I'm wrong about this. I hope there's a lot of finishes, but I'm going to go Kianona's decision. Let's go lock it up. He's got a great body. Great body. Fantastic body. Chiseled. Very chiseled. Oh, at a stone. Super chat. We got Ronaldo spam in a super chat. Gonna beats Charles because he can't take him down. Connor beats Charles because he can't take him down. Are you trolling? Connor beats Charles because he can't take him down. But you know where he can take him? He can take him to the uh, handicap restroom. Although Charles is too thin, not his style. Connor beats everybody, guys. He beats everyone. He's the greatest that's ever done it. So I agree. Uh, Flick. Jimmy Flick versus Alessandro Costa. Both coming off losses. Not surprised. Uh, Jimmy Flick lost to Charles Johnson. Energy, who just lost to our buddy. Uh, Johnson's all right. He's a good, good striker. He got knocked out by Johnson. It is a bug, Cody Durden. He defeated Cody. How did he defeat Cody Durden? It must have been a fluke. Uh, Nate Smith submission. Okay, now this guy coming in here. Well, what kind of logo is that for an organization? So he came into the UFC. Amir Abazi got knocked the fuck out. He is from Mexico. He's got the heart. He's got the blood. But he's very green, and he's he's hunting for his first UFC win. And what is he, like co-main event on this card? Why is he so high? I can't stop this. Why? What's going? Who? What? Why is this card like this? Why they do? Why are we watching this card again? I haven't found a bet that I want to put out there yet. I'm gonna put something out there. I just don't know what. I might. I'll probably be the main event. Maybe if Jared's getting plus, my, I don't fucking know. We'll look at the main event. Make it interesting. Flick is plus money. Knockout decision. So he came in off the contender series. Split decision. Did not get the contract. Why is why are they doing Jimmy Flick dirty? Why they? I might have to put money on Flick. I might actually have to put money on Flick. Let me look at the face-off. I know I usually don't go against the Mexican blood. Hmm. When did he beat Cody? That was a while ago, though, right? Oh, it was two years ago. Fucking hell. Two years ago, he comes back five months later, five months ago, and uh, loses. Gets knocked out. This guy made his debut, got knocked out by Albazi. But he's been winning a lot of fights. Damn, man. Oh, that's tough, man. So that the gap and then coming back and losing. But lo Charles Johnson, I don't know anything about Costa. Okay, now this is where we do a deep dive. We do a deep dive. We look at Alessandro Costa. We get 
down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, submitting Durden's pretty impressive, right? But I remember Durden had a um, an excuse for it. In fact, I want to message him now and say, hey, why did you lose? <laughs> what was the reason why you lost to Jimmy Flick? Should I pick him? Should I text him? It's kind of late, though. In Florida, yeah, it's it's late. He's probably banging his wife. He's probably banging his hot wife. I really want to, I actually want to message Dern. Dern's the man, man. Uh, but he's probably sleeping. All right, let's see who he fought. So he fought this Carlos Gomez, 6 7 0. Can. 14 1 0. Oh. And his only loss. Okay. So that was the contender series fight. Wow. This guy was 14 1 0. What an upset, huh? The Mexican came in. Damn, man. Okay. Uh, Kike Gonzalez. <laughs> Dude's name is Kike. Kike is. <laughs> Kike. Yo, my favorite fighter. You ever hear this guy, Kike Gonzalez? Yeah, he's a, he's surprisingly not a Jew. Uh, let's see. George Calvo Martin is <laughs> Kike Gonzalez. 15 6 0. Luis Solorzano. I want to pick the under. You guys fans of Kike Gonzalez? One of the greats? <clears throat> what is this guy talking about? You haven't banged anything, you virgin? Uh, Lil Seal, he's a growing on a show. What's going on? Is a fight? Is it, did a fight break out in the chat? Am I missing something good? Am I going to have to sanction something in the chat? <sighs> All right. Uh, fucking hell. I want to pick Flick. But this guy, beat, he beat the great Kike Gonzalez. He submitted flying triangle choke. He submitted some... You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go to the under. I'm even going to put some money on Flick. Because I feel he has to... How old is he? He's 32. This kid's 27. I'm going against the Mexican. This is not good. But I'm going to... All right. I'm going to pick Flick. I'm just going to pick, pick like with decision or some shit. Oh, he has a lot of submissions. All right. Fuck it. Let's go submission. Let's go crazy. Let's get crazy with ourselves. I'm going to say Flick submission in round two. And I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. So I'm going to go to my bookie. This is a this is not a lock, but the plus money. What the fuck is this? The plus money is very enticing. So I'm going to go to the greatest place to make a bet. And the place is called mybookie.ag. Okay. I'm going to log in to the greatest place to make a bet. A, a company that actually really supports us. And um, I got to say, one of our longer uh, relationships with sponsorships, we do all our bets over here. So if you want to place a bet, if you're new to the game or if you, you know, I don't know, if you just like placing bets, go to mybookie.ag, use promo code MMAHOLES for a 100% match on your first deposit. That's only for MMA holes. MMAHOLES. And everyone that does uh, use our code helps us out. We get credit. So it makes us look good and they stay with us. All right. And that's very important to us. Okay, so let's let's place the bet. Let's go over to MMA. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wow, they got the odds of Volk Rodriguez, Emmett versus Taporia. Okay. Gaethje versus Poria. They got a lot of their odds up now. Strickland's fight. All right, where where are we doing? What are we doing here? Uh, bu, 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 bu. uh, Vittori Cannon here. I was having a brain fart for a second. All right, what do you think about the flick bet? So he's a plus two hundred five. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. I'm gonna throw fifteen on there. See what happens. See see what does. Flick the experience. Get double the money. 15 to get $30.75. $30, Place the bet. Lock it in. It's loaded. It's in. All because I understand the Mexican beat the kike. But listen, I got a feeling. So flick for the win. What do you guys in the chat think? Am I, did I make a mistake with this bet? Because you guys are all superior uh, pickers. And thank you for the subscribe over here. I should move this so you can be seen. So you can be seen up here. You need to be seen. 
Chapo. You guys coming in. Thank you for the subs. Um, what do you think about this bet? Jimmy Flick over Costa. He's he's a two plus two hundred fighter against Costa. Not much, not much on Costa here. Amir Al Bazi loss. I mean, that's, a, that's not a bad loss. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? How do you, you all feel about parlays? I hate them. I fucking hate them. But it's fun to put a five dollar one in there and just roll the dice. But I hate them. Do you think Dana would be stoked with John Jones wearing PFL merch? I'm telling you, Chapo, man. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I think Dana is like, honestly, I think behind closed doors, Dana White's banging his head off the wall. Like when Connor was was doing the the, the bare knuckle shit, throwing the belt over his shoulder. Now Connor's raping girls in the bathroom. Um, John Jones running around with PFL merch on. You know, he's he's doing his thing, and and Dana's just like, what the? I have to make. Max Holloway versus Korean Zombie sound interesting. I think Dana White is like, why am I still here? I'm rich. The fuck am I still doing here? It's got to drive him nuts. He pretends it doesn't bother him. I guarantee it bothers him. But then again, maybe it doesn't. He, when you're that rich, I guess nothing bothers you. I don't know. Who knows? What do you think? I wrestled with Flick in high school. He's a real piece of shit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that's like so out of left field. I, I so hope that's true. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Pick a fighter by a toe. Why don't you ask your family members about uh, their pricks? <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for your input, guys. That's that's traditional MMA whole responses. Dalby versus Salikov. Dalby on a two-fight win streak. Warley Alves, Claudia Silva, last loss against Tim Means, the Dirty Bird from Denmark on a two-fight win streak. You got the Fiala win. That's actually a pretty good win. Uh, how do I go against this guy? He lost to Jing Liang Li. All right. There's no fucking way I'm going against Salikov. No way in hell, baby. I Excuse my French. But Salikov got this on Lakakov. Although Dalby looking cool, looking very Viking-esque. But, um... Yeah, see, look at his nose. You can study you can study this guy's face. This is like science here, okay? If a guy's nose looks like this over here, and then his last name ends in a V, no matter how cool and, and, and like Viking-like this his opponent looks, means nothing. Means absolutely nothing. That's how you make a prediction there. So we're going to go with Salikov for the win. Uh, he lost by a decision. Or he could finish him. Knockout decision. We're gonna go decision. We're gonna give. We're gonna give a Danish dynamite the benefit of the doubt and have an honorable decision loss. Chael has yeah, and he's undefeated, right? Chael's uh, Charles. Uh, not, I think he said Chael. Uh, Chael does have a nose like that too. It's pushed in weird. Uh, Charles Oliveira. Yeah, he's got a nose like that. He does. Nicholas Moda versus Manuel Torres. Okay, so Moda, a plus 150, uh, beat Cameron Van Camp, lost to Jim Miller, which is never a bad loss. Jim Miller's the man. Jim Miller's, every time there's a new guy coming in, they're like, yeah, fight Jim Miller, and he beats your fucking head in. So Manuel Torres, contender, wow, a lot of contender series people. This is crazy, man. All these guys on his card. So it's cheap labor. These guys sign contracts off the contender series, like five fight contracts where they're, they're getting paid minimum wage. Like if you work at McDonald's, you're going to make more than these guys. And this card is just filled with contender series fights. Now, not to say, listen, Jamal Hill is a champ. Uh, Sean O'Malley is fighting for a belt. So not to say contender series fighters can't be champions. But boy, holy cheap labor, Batman. Wonderful, wonderful. That was corny. Sorry. Uh, let's see. It's late. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here. Look at Torres. He's like, look at my pecs. They're defined nicely. See, now I was always jealous of this. A man with mighty top pec, you know? Mighty top pec. The incline press, you know? That's what you got to do. You got to do a lot of those flies to get the inside line. And you got to fill the whole pectoral muscle out. Never good at that. Always had a, vo uh, a voluptuous breast line over here. But I could never get, like, I got atrophy. I did have a lot of shoulder surgeries. So I, I say that's part of the problem, too. But regardless of the fact, never could get that pec. Very jealous of the top portion of the pec. I'm more like this guy. We're a couple of years away from just wearing a bra. You know? Regardless of the fact. Some people have, you know, flat 
chess, they don't have either of them. So I guess it could be worse. But still, very good pectoral muscular structure for that guy. With that being said, I'm picking him. <laughs> because of his high definition and his musculature. Dude, yeah, I have two shoulder surgeries here, a broken collarbone, a shoulder surgery over here, and I have like atrophy, like right over here. So this chest muscle compared to this when I was recuperating just never bounced back. But uh, I try. I try. Uh, okay, I'm going to go Mexico. We're going to go back to the Mexican border here. Mexican land. Going Taco Tuesday, Torres. Knockout, knockout, submission. This guy's not going to win. I know he locked out, knocked out Cameron Van Camp, but nope. You're losing, my friend. Because this guy's just happy to be here. <laughs> and he's gonna fucking knock you out. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna finish you, bro. Yeah, he's gonna finish you. I see knockout. I see another round two. Alright, we got a knockout here. Manuel Torres, let's go, champ. Easy. That's an easy pick for me. High pectoral muscle structure. Easy. Manuel all day, right? I feel you. You're more like uh, Dolly Parton. <laughs> Dolly Parton. All right. Yeah, I am. I am. My balls are so heavy. That's hot. My balls bounce back. Why are you guys talking about balls out there? What's going on? Pat Sabatini. Hey, it's a Pat Sabatini's back in the game. A minus 200 favorite. Lost to Damon Jackson. Oh, that was the fight with the brother. That's the one. The emotional, my brother passed away, Damon Jackson goes in. and it, Wow, I can't believe Damon won that fight. I still can't, like, in hindsight, I still can't wrap my head around that. That's nuts. So Pat Sabatini is going to come back with a vengeance. He's fighting Lucas Almeida. So Almeida, he loses in the Contenders series, comes back uh, uh, in the UFC over here with a finish. Yeah, I feel like for, for Sabatini's going to be ferocious because I it's crazy how I still can't believe he lost to Damon. The fuck is what am what the hell? Dude, what the What the hell am I looking at here? Is this even real? The fuck is this? What is going on with this matchup here? Okay, it's a small world versus a full-size man. What the The hell is going on here? Lucas Almeida just towering over him. Oh, boy. I still want to go Pat Sabatini. Usually size means nothing, right? In the world of mixed martial arts. But my goodness. Pat looking fun-sized over here. 5'8 versus 5'11? Dude, what? Am I, see am I fucking tripping right now? Like, what is... Am I... Guys, am I tripping right now? Why the fuck... What is it? What am I looking at here? Why is this dude, like, two feet taller? Was he wearing heels? <sighs> Philly Power, T bag his ass. Looks like BKFC mismatch. Fun size for you. Looks like BKFC. You said that. Uh, that's nuts. Uh, you just don't know they smell bad. Talk about bulls. Even, look, look at this. He's even like, wow, why is this guy so fucking tall? What's happening here? That's a weird, that's a weird, this dude must be wearing heels. I'm still going to go with Sabatini. I'm still going, I'm still going Sabatini. This guy's big, man. He's only got 70, he only got one inch reach advantage. Dude, I don't understand. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Patty. Patty with the Sabat decision, teeny. Knockout, submission. Hmm. I don't know, man. Oh, fucking hell. I might go I might go under on this. Yeah, like I, I See, I feel like Pat Sabatini bouncing back after that tough loss against Damon Jackson. I feel like he's gonna be ready. But um Damn Lucas Almeida looks scary, man. He finished Trezano. Nah, I gotta go Sabatini. I gotta go all right, I'm gonna go decision on Sabatini. Anyone picking the under? Yeah, 14 and 1, but this guy came into the. Let, let me hold on a second. Let's see. Because I kind of. I'm trying to find plus money action here, so I'll entertain it for a sec. Let's see, I want to give you guys the accurate bets. Well, I, when I see that plus money, you know. So Lewis, uh, Lucas Almeida, 14 and 1 Brazilian. 
Uh, 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 so he beat Trezano, right? Trezano, UFC fighter over here. Tough dude. Trezano, 10-3-0. Although, ah, uh, ah, uh, not so good. Not so good for Trezano. Jungle fights. This guy, 10-4-0. This dude looks like something from a Cheech Marin movie. Uh, but he's got a bunch of wins. Let's see. He lost his Zulhubber. That was the Contender Series. Oh, Zul Zulhubber's a beast. He's a young fucking... He's a, he's a tough young kid. Okay, I'll give him a pass there. Nico Cuccio is what? 11-6-1. Bunch of losses. Towards the end. Uh, Bruno Tavares... 14. He's he lost, he's beat guys with winning records. But yeah, look at these. All right, yeah, I'm going to go Sabatini. So these guys got winning records, but then when they start fighting like real opponents, it seems like they all start falling apart. So yeah, I'm going to go Sabatini for the win. I'm going to stick with it. We had to do our research to give you guys accurate predictions. Petrazian coming back here. 7 months against AJ Dobson decision win. He actually won me money in that fight. Christian Leroy Duncan. Okay, I remember this kid. Wow. Huh. Huh. So he's 8-0. So Petrazian fought... Where is he? Gregory Rodriguez. When Gregory Rodriguez came on the show, he said, Yo, this guy... This guy's a tough son of a bitch. He lost to Kyle Burrell. It's not a bad loss. This guy's got old knockouts, though, man. Old finishes. Let's see if we can get some information. Whoa. Look at this face off. Dude. Dude, this is a good fight. This is a good this is a good fight. This is a good fight. I tell you what. So you got this hype train coming out of Cage Warriors. Undefeated 8 0. Slight favorite over here. I might go plus money in Petrazian. Did he get knocked out in these fights? He lost by decision. He got knocked out here. You know what? I'm going Petrazian. Let's see what we got here. 6-2 for 6-3. Big boys. Uh, 79. Wow. Holy smokes. This dude got a 79-inch reach. This guy got a 71-inch reach. Petrazian. Ooh, that, that reach does bother me a little bit. Let me just look at the resume. Of Mr. Cage Warriors. I mean, it's a pretty nice 8 0 finishing. <sighs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Dusko. Dusko, he's all right. But yeah, he's on a shit. He's a shit sandwich run. 10 3 0. 8 1 0. Yeah. But he's fighting guys. I like the under. I'm going to put plus money on Petrazian. I'm going to go Petrazian by decision. All right. Petrazian decision. We're going to go over to my bookie. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, baby. I'm liking it. I'm liking what I'm looking at. Petrazian. I'm going to throw 15 on him too. Why not? Let's see. 15 on him. To win 18. Those are two plus money bites. Uh, fights. We'll probably do a parlay. So we got. Okay. We got Petrazian and we got um, Jimmy Flick. Two under bets. Okay, guys, let's win some money. Don't do it. You don't like it. You like the unblemished guy. A lot of people get like smitten by 18 no records. Actually, I should move myself over so you can see this. So what do you need to see that microphone there? A lot of people get like, they get, you know, they fall in love with those unblemished records. This guy's got a very long reach. Um, he seems like a talented kid, but Petrazian could nullify him for three rounds. I don't see why not. It's going to a finish no matter. Wow. It's a good fight though. This is a good fight. Uh, decision when a guy is a finisher. No, he's not. He doesn't have all finishes. His last fight was a decision. What the fuck are you talking about? Gregory Rodriguez's decision. The fuck, bro? What are you talking? Seattle Ryan. What the hell is Seattle Ryan on? Is he Seattle Ryan? Are you smoking something? Yeah, he's a finisher. I know that. I'm picking Petrazian by decision because I think he's going to nullify 
uh, Duncan's game. That's what I think. We'll be doing some grappling against the cage. Be rolling around on the ground. You know, he's going to try to get... He doesn't want to play with that reach. So I don't understand. What are you saying? You know? I don't know. Listen, Duncan could win this fight. I mean, there's a reason why he's a favorite. But I think Petrazzi... And, listen, when, when Gregory Rodriguez came on the show and he spoke about uh, fighting Petra, uh, Petrazzi, and he said this dude was... He was a complicated guy to fight. And look how good of a striker Gregory Rodriguez. Do you think Gregory Rodriguez is not a finisher? My man either gets finished or finishes. Gregory Rodriguez is a fucking animal. And this dude lost to Petrazian. Right now, I would pick Gregory Rodriguez over Chris, over Duncan. Right? I know that's kind of like MMA math. But I would go Armin with this one over here. Armin's got a, a good uh, mix of mixed martial arts. And I, I think he's going to get it done. I do. But it's a risky bet. That's why I'm. it's an underdog bet. It's always risky. But I like the plus money on this one. And his hat's backwards. So, guys, if you want to make money, you go with me. If you don't, go against me. We got two underdog bets. So, we win one, we're up. Very important. Okay? We're betting straight up. But we will do a $5 parlay as well to add to the mix. Because that's how I do my bets over here. All right, here we go. Sarukian talking a big game. Getting, to me, no, no disrespect, Silva, because you're a tough dude. I get it. But bro, you are a lamb to the slaughter in this fight. They're trying to they're trying to make you the sacrificial lamb. They got Sarukian going in there with his fucking sunglasses on, talking shit, saying he's gonna beat Oliveira, blah, blah, blah. Sarukian's gonna try to make a statement. A lot of people like Sarukian. And I gotta be honest with you, I think Sarukian's good, but I gotta be honest, like, what was it? The Gamera fight? Yeah. The Gamera fight was a war, but it showed me that Sarukian is very beatable. He's a solid fighter. He's still young. What? He's only 26 years old, but he's beatable. In this fight over here, it's Sarukian all day. I, I mean, I'd be shocked if Sarukian loses this fight. Let's look at the face off here. I want to see. Dude, it'd be hilarious. If Sarukian loses this fight, talking all that shit, good face off. You got the family guy chick in the background. All right. All right, I like this guy. This guy's come to play. Anyone picking Silva? Jesse Ronson, knockout. Lost to Ricky Glenn. Lost to Nazareth. Beat Jared Gordon. And lost to Vince Pichel. Anyone going with the Brazilian? The plus 700. Anyone going against Sarukian? I got Sarukian in this thing. Let's see, how does he lost? He lost knockout, knockout, decision. When was the last time Sarukian finished somebody? That was a year or three months ago. Joel Alves. You know what? All right, Sarukian. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say you're going to go in there, get the knockout. I'm going to say you're going to do it in two. Two. It's round two. You're not from one. You better, you better back it up, Sarukian. Or I'm going to shit on you. I'm going to shit on you. I'm going to spread my legs and shit on you, Sarukian. You better, you better, if you're going to go around saying you're going to fuck up Charles Oliveira, you better, do some, you better do some dirty work on this Brazilian over here. Main event of the even. Silva by KO. I mean, listen. The guy's getting a lot of plus money. So if you're like if you're a sucker for that plus money, I don't know, man. Cannot be broken, rough day. JJ, I hope it gets better. Well, it's nighttime, so tomorrow better day for you. Better days, better, better things to come. We're still waiting on that donation. Uh Silva tough when he get when he beat Gordon, Silva can win. Yeah, beating Jared Gordon's a solid win. That is a solid win. But Sarukian. You know, he's talking about, you know, fucking up Charles Oliveira. So, yeah, so Sonosi's going with the plus 700. If you like big plus money and you're sick of people talking trash that hasn't really done anything yet. Like, like, listen, I understand what Sarukian's doing. He's he's trying to say, hey, listen, I'm here. Now, he beat one of the greatest of all time, Matt Favola. That probably the best win on his resume. Because Matt Favola is a fucking champion. Matt Favola is one of the greatest light, lightweights of all time. I don't know how he beat Matt, but he had to go to a decision. Couldn't finish Matt. You can't finish him. Christos Jagos win, knockout. Joel Alvarez and then lost to Gamrot. And, and I felt he was a... Listen, Gamrot's good. Don't get me wrong. But I feel Gamrot's another one that could be a gatekeeper. So this, let's see what he does here. Beat Ismagalov. So That's not a bad win. Ismagalov had a lot of hype too. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. 
All right, so I'm going to pick Saruki and Knockout. Here it is, the main event. So, Jared is getting plus money. He is 10 years older than Vittori, but he's in great shape. Um, this fight is a very fascinating matchup between the two because you got both guys that know how to win decision fights, although Cannoneer does have finishability, and has Vittori ever been finished? I, right, Mar Marvin's never been finished. So you have to think path to victory, right? If both guys are decision machines or have or like to you know, go the decision way, what would be Jared's path to vi uh, victory to beat Marvin? Knock him out? I, does, that doesn't happen. So Marvin's losses have been like this. So, I mean, he went the distance with Bobby Knuckles. You go in the distance with Bobby Knuckles who fucked up Cannoneer, that's pretty good. Uh, Adesanya decision, that's pretty good. Even though he lost those fights, still pretty good. Adesanya, decision, decision, yeah. Decision, yeah, he's never been finished. <sighs> Boy, I would love to see Cannonier. Listen, I like, listen, I'm Italian. But I feel like Vittori's decision should be a lock. I feel, I feel like it should be a lock. Another thing is, when has Vittori finished anybody? Like, Vittori's decision, just it just feels right. So you got that split decision win over Strickland. Some people think Strickland won. Strickland thinks he won. He lost to Adesanya unanimous. Beat Brunson knockout. I gotta go Vittori. Although I would love to see I would love to see Cannonier win this fight. Hmm. Marvin can take a fucking punch and he's relentless. God. Well, this is going five. This is going five. I'm going to pick Vittori. I'm going to pick Decision. And I'm going to lock it up. Okay. So the bets are in. I only have two bets in our unders, so I don't know if I'm going to parlay. Yeah, I'm not going to parlay. Fuck it. I know that's not fun, guys, but this card is meh. You got two bets. You got Petrazzi and you got Flick. I can't even... I can't even... I'm not even going to... I don't feel confident enough to even throw a weird parlay out there, so I'm not going to do it. Um, Petrazzi and straight up and Jimmy Flick. That's the only bets I got in here. I want to give you guys the best possible way to come up plus money. And, um, yeah, I can't do it. So I'm going to go uh, Vittori decision. Chat, what do you think? Who wins, Cannoneer or Vittori? There's a part of me that's kind of rooting for Cannoneer. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm kind of rooting for Cannoneer. No disrespect to Vittori, but I kind of want to see Cannoneer win. Either way, it doesn't matter. Like, neither guy is going to beat Whitaker or Adesanya. It's just not going to happen. So there you go. Five on Silva for that plus money. That would be fun to hit. That would be fun to hit, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to threaten the $5. I feel like it's just, I feel like that, that Sarukian fight, the UFC planned that as a victory for Sarukian. So even though that has fun plus money, it, it, the chance, like, I think the, the odds are worse than a plus 700 to win. I don't think Sarukian is going to lose. I don't, but I hope you win. All right, guys, that was fun, man. We had a nice, strong stream. I appreciate it. If you want to see our reaction to the Bellator fights, good luck. I was not happy with their performances, but if you do want to see it, go back in the video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about that. It's been a fantastic evening hanging with the boys. Hanging with the boys. But like all shows, we must go. I mean, we can't stay here all fucking night. So what I need you guys to do in the chat right now, I need you guys to go over to our next stream for tomorrow. It's planned. It's scheduled. It's locked. It's loaded. Go hit the like button over there. Bash it up. Share the stream around on your social media. Like this stream over here. And don't be an a-hole B. An M-M-A-hole. Good night! Let's win some money tomorrow, baby. Come on.